<laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, missing a Sam boy. Uh, but we are starting tonight with a word from our sponsor for the evening, Thorum. Marisha, wherever. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh, yeah. Thank you, you Sam. Thank you, Sam. I still want to chair pull you in this. I just want you to eat shit in this fucking mobility. Oh, mobility is real low. Eat something. There's definitely a chair behind you. There's watched. definitely a chair. Behind it you. smells yeah. weird. Of all hot dog costumes, it's a pretty high quality one. Yeah. It is. Definitely looks like a hot dog. Yeah. This, yeah. That's exactly is, what I was thinking it looks like. This is a hot dog. Hi, um, <laughs> hi. So Sam's not here. You gotta pull the folds. <laughs> yeah, that's generally how it works, Travis. <laughs> oh, hot so dog. I know. This right now, and I'm not gonna do it. I just want to say it looked different on the website. <laughs> so <laughs> this ad is never going to stop or finish. Nope. Oh no. Like how it's, it's winning. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> Somebody rub her forehead. For that. No, so, uh, a little weird. So Sam's a ha ha ha. This hot dog bites back. Um, so Sam's not here. So uh, he's making me do the ad read, which I, I found out about um, about five minutes ago. Yeah. I, <laughs> Stop. She's struggling. I haven't read the script, but um <clears throat> Okay, here, here we here we go. <sighs> just pull, just pull the just pull the hot dog. Oh, does this help, yeah, Laura? Yeah. Does this help? <laughs> <laughs> is this is this making a difference? My head is stuck. <laughs> are you are you cold? You're shivering. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> A little shiver and quiff. So for over a decade, <laughs> Thorum has been handcrafting <laughs> unique wedding bands out of everything from meteorites, uh, whiskey barrels, and um, they, they ship every ring within one uh, one business day. Um, <laughs> sorry, it's, yeah, I'm in your way. it's Sam. Uh, sit up straight. <laughs> you look like you're going to a Kentucky junior prom. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Thank you for the critique. <sighs> I knew we shouldn't have let him watch the live feed. Thorum is also making uh, <clears throat> minimalist watches out of uh, meteorite, Hawaiian koa, <laughs> and California redwood, plus their line of chic minimalist pendants. Uh, the, they're new, that's what these are. And um, <laughs> since we know a thing or two about min minimalism here at Critical Role. Do we? Do we do. Uh, I'm going to list off some of the cool materials yeah. Thorum oh, uses in their yeah. rings. Oh. While you're interrupting my serious ad read, I'm sorry. Thorum, uh, uh, cool materials that Thorum uses in their in their rings while eating an entire dump cake <gasps> without my hands. No. Uh, oh. No. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I have to eat all that. It's Sam's artistic vision. <gasps> no. I'm sorry. I'm not okay. I'm not. I'm. You know what? I'll I'll just sing um a jaunty little tune, okay? Oh, that that'll be good. Up. Um, okay. Mm. Meteorite, whiskey barrels, iron wood. It's, it's Sam. Oh. Sam, hang on. Yeah, Sam. No, I. <laughs> I know I'm not a singer. No, no, no! I, I, I'm, I'm not doing that. It's, it's incredibly gross. <laughs> <laughs> I, what does Thorum have to do with eating dump cakes anyway? Uh huh. Oh, it's called caterpilling. What? It's popular on TikTok. What? Caterpilling. Okay. What is that? Why am I dressed like a hot dog then? It just makes no sense. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I, I don't understand comedy. Okay, you know what? You know what? I can do this by myself, all right? I went to improv school too, okay? Yeah, it might have been LA Connection. Don't look it up, but you know what? <laughs> I don't have fucking money for your fancy UCB bullshit, okay? Look that up. So, yeah, 
And you know what? I may not have won two Emmys, but I won the technology award in the eighth grade Let because go. my fucking HTML skills were lit. Good job. My my space page was the shit. Take that, Sam. My space page. That's Damn. a true story. I won the technology award. In eighth grade. She's told me. So whether you need a wedding ring, anniversary <laughs> ring, or you just want a ring that looks awesome, head over to, uh, it oh, smells bad. Head over <laughs> to Thorum. This is a hot dog. To Horum. <laughs> to Thorum. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Head like over to Thorum.com and uh, use code Critical Role. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> Zip zap zap back to you. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Thank you, Marisha. This is Orm's form of dread. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate everything about this. Oh, that, looks so oh, my God. that looks so good. Make it stop. But can we eat that cake? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I do not I recommend that. I don't want to touch that cake. Uh, you do, I, oh, God. You want this cake? No. Cake. I want it. You is want it? this cake? Dry it off. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you so much, Marisha. How dare you, Sam? Uh, Laura, you guys have announcements. We'll I do. Do you, have a, do you have a costume like a? I don't. Like a I just have okay. normal clothes, you guys. Uh, we have. I <laughs> we have a mighty nine hoodie. Hey! Hey! Oh, that's rad. Ooh. You might know our Bell's House hoodie. This is a mighty nine hoodie in the same style. Oh, we got two Molly. versions. So we got this. Ooh, fabulous dark navy. Get ready for a big change, because in the U this is U.S. and Canada. In the UK and mm -hmm. EU, you get a, a light navy version. Oh. Can you see how different it is? It's a little bit thicker too. Zippers are different too. Yes, yes. So yes, this is fabulous art by Nina Matsumoto, um, and the Mighty Night Crest is by Crystal Sharp. Beautiful. Thank you to our fabulous yeah. artists. Hell yeah. And also, you guys, mm -hmm. I have something else to talk about. That's not just merch. We're doing next Thursday. We're participating in Creators in Fashion. Hey! Yay! Yay! It's a live stream fashion show featuring content creators and their merch lines, which is pretty awesome. And Marisha I'm will be showing off it. the same. Outfit, yeah, we're gonna have Marisha walk in the hot dog. Louis hot dog. Adding we did not design this hot dog. Relish. We will not be showing this hot dog. <laughs> um, you can tune in starting at 3 p.m. Pacific on the Style Theory YouTube channel and bring your questions to be answered live in chat because. We're gonna do that. I, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm done talking. I'm very excited about it. You should tune in. Nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> well Thank done. you, Laura. <laughs> well done. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 like, Risha! Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> that, that hot dog costume is the exact opposite of a hot dog. Yeah, no, seriously. I know. <laughs> No. If you stand, does it look more like a hot dog? Not really. <laughs> it's like a Central Park. No, no, no it's the, worse. Somehow it's worse. They forgot it the dog. Cool. You're the dog. She's the dog. Yeah, but. Oh. <laughs> so. She's a little pearl up at the. It's more like a lazy philosophy. You got it. You got it. Go. <laughs> the finale of Candela Obscura. <laughs> Speaking of cosmic horror. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the circle of the Crimson Mirror. Is coming next Thursday. Next Thursday. <laughs> we have loved what this cast has brought to New Fair, and you will not want to miss what their final investigations bring to Old Fair. Old Fair. <laughs> Remember that you can tune in anytime, as each episode is standalone. But if you want to catch up, you gotta you got plenty of time. You can do something like YouTube or podcasts or Twitch or whatever. Leo and Bray is killing it. Yay! Yay! It was great! Yeah, anyway, thanks for spoiling the ending. <laughs> <laughs> she is the Crimson Mirror. <laughs> Are we not delving well? No. well. Wow. And uh, we've released a brand new update to the Daggerheart playtest material. Yes. Uh, if you haven't yet, you can download and play version 1.3 now at daggerheart.com slash play. And be sure to watch the update live stream from last week with uh, Spencer Stark and myself diving into the details. Or you can check out our change log on daggerheart.com to understand what updates have been made to this uh, system so far and why, and how you can easily incorporate them into the game. And if you've already downloaded them all, uh, there's an easy download that just includes all the changed cards and things that can, you can just really quickly swap in. Uh, but if you haven't had a chance to check it out yet, 
Now is indeed the perfect time. You can run games with a group, you can build characters solo, or even try it virtually with Daggerheart Nexus on Demiplane. Demiplane. So uh, thank you for all of your continued feedback on the game. Uh, it's such an important part of the game development process. Uh, you've already helped us tremendously in making it even better than it was when we started, and that will continue <coughs> forward as we're eager to see what you think about the latest changes. So. Thank you so much. Um, um, uh, I believe that concludes our announcements. So uh, let's go and jump into tonight's episode of the Taco Critical Role. <laughs> We reach the top, two by two we fall. Will we meet our friend or meet our destiny? Hold your breath and roll. How do you want to do this? It's Thursday night. All ye critters, come join us. It's time to continue our flight. There is magic and mystery. Who knows what will happen? He might. For sure, we never give up on the fight. From the healer to the renegade, we all share the same goal. Adding more allies, taking more chances. Hold your breath and roll. You certainly try. It's Thursday night. All ye critters, come join us. It's time to continue our play. From darkness our friendship will rise But one thing's for sure We never give up on the fight Oh, get ready It's Thursday night Welcome back. So, last we left off, Bell Hells, after making contact with the Volition, agreed to aid them in a number of their current simultaneous goals against the dark leaders of Kraviris, in hopes of gaining information and aiding the revolution against the Roidian tyrants. Upon these missions, much information was gained, some dangerous circumstances occurred, and yet you survived and endured, and began to flee the city as chaos began to erupt from within. During this time, after calling towards your mother and setting her into a personal crisis about what's right and who to align with, she scattered off into the dark shadows of the caverns. And as you fled towards the surface, through some of these winding rock tunnels, you were hunted by Odahan Thul, the legend of the peaks. During this fight in which your terrifying foe unleashed her true capabilities, many of you fell and barely scraped back from the edge, but one of you did not. Fresh cut grass. The friend and ally who had recently come to truly realize his worth sacrificed himself to save the rest of you, and to fell for good the foe that had long hunted you. In that fugue numbness of realization, you grabbed what you could, what remained of him, and what you could from what remained of Odahan Thul, continued to flee to the surface where you emerged, and there amongst the red Ruidian landscape, the distant storms roiling, Liliana descended from above, and seeing the hurt in your face, in all of your faces, realized what had likely transpired. And it was here, still not truly grasping or processing what has happened and what is next, you stare upon the alien landscape and partially obscured horizon. Exhausted, but immediately trying to figure out where we are, if I recognize it, if anyone besides her mother is present, coming, are we in danger? Lay of the land. Make a perception check. Rerolling the one. 
Uh, that's 28. 28. Glancing around best you can, and it's fairly clear in the air you are now. The dust storms currently kind of sit at least a number of miles off. So you're uncertain how fast they're moving at a quick glance. Um, you do not see any other figures immediately present. And are we amongst the sort of towers that were used yeah, for lookouts and houses. security? Is that where we are, where we've resurfaced, or are we in a place that we don't, that Orem doesn't recognize? So where you've pushed out from here, one of these kind of side caverns, you've took a look behind you and you can see the base of the mountain range that encircles Craviris <laughs> and kind of continues past it. So you are kind of just outside the city itself. Uh, you do not see any immediate outposts, but you figure if you were to leave a little further out, you would be essentially out in the open, visible from many of the outposts that encircle the kind of crown-like mountainscape that surrounds the valley at the top of the city. And directly, last last clarification question, is it obvious yet the direction from where we came from to get here, to get to the city? You can very easily see the Bloody Bridge, the single beam of red energy oh, okay. that sits in a direction which helps you orient Yourself and your location right now from where you came. How do how do we stay out of there? Sight. Um, are there any uh, crevices in the ground? I know there had been cracks and whatnot on the way here. Anything to hide in? Um, I mean. If you get really close to the base of the mountain, there's probably some little alcoves you can kind of pull in to stay out of any immediate <clears throat> sight. Any larger kind of dips or cracks in the ground where you could hide from sight are a good 500 or more feet out and would probably put you out in the open before you reach them. Where are you at? Are you able to take us underneath? If there's something to get down there, I don't know what's down there. I'm gonna see what's below us, take a deep breath. I'm gonna... You grind through the ground and vanish below. Um, while you're currently looking, uh, Lillian, Lillian is still kind of gliding about a foot off the ground, kind of her hair drifting. You can feel almost like a taste, the energy that sparks in the air around her. And she's still kind of just locked in on you, her face still sad, and you can see the streaks of kind of not sure if they're tears of sadness or anger that have since dried and kind of smeared what dirt was along her face. As she just kind of looks towards you for guidance before she kind of looks away and I, I don't know what's going on, Imogen. I don't know what to do. I take her hand. I don't either. Well, y'all, you know, can't stay here. Not after. You can't stay here. Are you staying? I, if I go, they'll know. What's more useful? If I leave, they'll... I mean, the rest of them already have been tough enough to get them to trust me. I, am I more useful here to what you're doing, or am I more useful leaving it behind? I don't... I mean, we'd sure love to know what's in your head. We don't know enough. Y you said... You said you're the, the vessel? As far as I understand, in order to... In order to reawaken and... and get to this God-eater, this Pradathos. There are boundaries, shells, things that in, imprison it within itself, set up by the gods, and I don't know the specifics, maybe you'd know better as she gestures over to Ivaro, who is still kind of like processing and kind of clutching with all four of her arms towards her chest right now, uh, kind of taken in, in shock, all that's transpired. What I do know is that the Ruid is born. We're, we're part of pushing through that. We're, 
We're supposed to be what can break the final boundary. We have something within us, something that the gods can't stop. Only we can truly reach it. And from what he said, in order to get it beyond and back into our realm, it needs a, a vessel. Something to carry it past that threshold. Then you can't stay. I'm not the only possible vessel here. I'm afraid of what'll happen if I'm not here to try and <clears throat> do what I've been doing. Which is what? Control it? Try to control lewdness? At least, at least slow and focus what's happening. If you're used as a vessel, no guarantee you'll be in control of yourself. If you're not the vessel, what are you gonna do against a God Eater? With us, we're armed with information. I ask you this in, in earnest. What is it you fear about this God Eater? Let's remove lewdness from the equation. Let's absolve ourselves of that. What? What are you afraid of? Unknown consequences that you cannot guarantee me or anyone. You do not know what will happen if that thing is unleashed. I have had quite a few communions with him. Huh? You've had quite a few? I know. I know you've been resistant, and rightly so, I've told you to, but I've, and many of us, especially since coming here, we've, we can feel it, we can, I don't think it wants us. I don't think it cares. Ma'am, Miss Temple, I cannot take your word for it. I understand. What do you think it wants? It wants to be away, free of its endless dream. It wants to be free. You say it doesn't care about us? What makes you think apathy is any better than disdain? To a god-eater. It's hard to explain, but there's something... Something just feels right about the path of what it wants. I'd say I could show you, but... I think things are a little intense right now. And we don't have the time. We might have been getting one side of the story. Are you saying you want something besides God eating? It's real. Tired of being here. And it's real angry at those who put it there. And it's real hungry. For what? For what it naturally hunts. God's G O D S. Um. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get away from the city. The, okay. I, I know there's so much That's to fine. say, but. Make a perception or survival check for me. Nine. 
you cruise around for a bit, and you're starting to get a little close to uh, not not being certain how long you have left on this. But I'd say after a good chunk of time, you don't sense any other helpful caverns or such. I would have rolled up and been listening, just shoulder up. Mm-hmm. The ridge line, then the base of the mountain. Yeah, that's the best call. Let's go. The secret, secret one. Yeah, we certainly can't go to the bloody bridge unless you can guarantee us safe passage. How else would you get out of here? We'll go to the bloody bridge. It's the only way out. We have to. Well, we could also go to the bloody bridge. We go to the, go bloody, to the bloody bridge. Are you coming with or are you staying? That's the only way to get home. How am I more useful to you, Imogen? If I come with you, I can't continue to tell you what's happening here. You won't know what changes happen should you come back, how they're changing things or preparing for, if not you, whoever else is behind you. And I assume a lot of Exandria is ready to come up here to unload a hellish payload of the gods' smite I cannot even begin to imagine. I hug her. What if they pull you away again, though? You know what to do. How will we talk to you? I feel like if I try to talk to you in a dream, then they'll hear everything. I think if you're not here, we can find each other safely. I think we can do that safely. Then stay. You mm. stay. It's odd, you see a combination of heartbreak and relief wash over her. There's that, that glimmer in her face where you see part of her, part of her really did want to go with you. I don't mean to interject, just a question. I, I would love to, like Orm said, believe everything that you're saying, but if you've really been trying to slow this down and we seem to know your heart of things, this whole mind stuff, they just kind of jump in and out of people's domes. Are they gonna be able to tell your true colors now? They haven't fully trusted me because I don't think they can. In fact, I think the Weave Mind. The Weave Mind and Ludinus have a, uh, a unique dynamic. Ludinus was the first Exandria to make contact with the Weave Mind about three centuries ago, from what they told me. And it was through them he was able to talk to about the one who sleeps. But they both use each other for their own ends. And I think they do so knowingly. Thinking that they'll be able to pull the final piece. I think it's that dynamic that's helped me kind of play the mother hen to a certain degree. But the weave minds don't trust us, exalts. We saw them. They saw us? Yeah. Briefly. Right before you showed up. And what of Odon? Was she just a rabid dog? Right after you showed up. Sorry. No. Odahan was one of the possible vessels. One that I don't think we have to worry about anymore. How many more possibilities are there? 
He certainly had no control over her. Gosh, I hope that's true. Awakened, maybe four, but I know they're they're trying to instill some of the other dormant powers to reach their true potential. How do they do that? Through turmoil, through training. Ludinus often needs those, but he's not even here right now. Where's Ludinus now? I know he's on Alexandria. Inside check. Make an inside check. I'll aid you while staring at you while you stare at her. Twenty-three. She's being pretty straightforward. All right. Ivaroa kind of peeks up, like breaks from her kind of shaken stare, and goes, "I, th I think I, I think I know where he is." What? Great. How? I think I know. Part of what I was working on with him was put on hold because. He, I've been tangential to his work. Me and a small other team, we've been assembling this, these devices he'd been bringing from Exandria. Uh, Vanguard and um, other, uh, what's he called them? The assem assembly defectors. Mm. Been gathering this tech from underneath some of the nearby factions back home for you folk, and uh, well, there'd been some problem, some, something had been taken up home and the source of these pieces, and I know he mentioned something about having to deal with this, this thing. Mm. Miss Tumult, it sounds like you know that Ludinus is a son of a bitch. And you know that Odahan has murdered many. Yeah, we gotta go. You know they're not altruists. So it's hard for me to fathom why you think that whatever comes next is not bad. Ludinus isn't doing anything if it doesn't bring him power. Ludinus is following a plan that was set out for him by the one who sleeps. One who sleeps just sees him as a, a part of its plan. And I, it's so hard to convey if you haven't seen or, or felt what I have, but. It's not hard to understand at all. I know self delusion when I see it, I've known it myself. You're in, clearly you're in and you're gonna think you're gonna be careful. But I think your worst fear is probably my worst fear, and we just got a fucking sample of it. I want you to think about that, and think very carefully when things start to go wrong, and they will for you. Will you hear the mental cries of your daughter when Ludus finally decides it's time to murder her on Alexandria? Do you think that'll break through, or do you think you're gonna be surprised? Do you think, should we stop all this from happening and reseal or maintain Pradathos' endless slumber, that those of us who know this, those of us who are designed to be part of its freedom are just gonna be allowed to walk free? Why, do you think the great Temples of your world aren't going to hunt us down one by one till there's no possibility of this plan ever coming to fruition? You don't think every great politician of our world that isn't tied into this truth isn't going to try and bury each and every one of us for what we're part of? Cold comfort for my family in the ground. I'm sorry. Are you? I am.
can I say in Orm's head? I don't trust her either. But we keep her on our side, so we learn the truth. Don't push her away. I don't fully know the depths of what the Vanguard has done to get where we are. And I've only come to realize the barbarism that has been explained as necessity. And I'm well aware of the horrors that they are, and I wrestle with that guilt in any part that I have aided unaware. Keep wrestling. too deep in this to just walk away. I have a, a question. Um, just, when did you become a, a, a follower of all this enough? W what happened enough to where you decided to leave your daughter? I went to the through the conservatory in Drusar when I was having these dreams, these visions, and... I was afraid that it meant I was just gonna bring something awful upon my family, so I, I asked for some sort of guidance, and through these studies and this research, eventually I was visited. By Ludinus, who had a personal interest. Sure, that makes sense. And I'm, if I'm going to be honest, he was a—he was a teacher. He, he was a, a guide. I was scared. I didn't know what was happening, and for a number of years, he helped me learn to control, to ground myself, to to feel like maybe there was something, something important, something, something I was meant to do that could free myself of this burden, and for you, of it too. I just didn't realize what, what was being done until I was already Unknowingly complicit. And now I'm just trying to figure out what's right and what what can be done. It's never too late to leave if you're uncomfortable. Just putting that out there. With all due respect, Miss Timalt, we've all been through. Forgive any of our rash comments. But I do fear every moment that we are here diminishes the chances of us getting out of here. We should go. Do we have your word that you will aid us on this side? There's nothing in this world more important to me than you. You're the reason I chose to even go on this path. Not of your fault, but my own. Is that the truth? Because obviously there's something more important to you. You say you want to go home, you say you miss it. I see you. This is home. You spend enough time in a dark place, you forget what home looks like, and that doesn't mean the yearning is gone. Especially when it finds you again. Don't put that choice on me then. You want to find your place, you come back. If you found it, 
then you can stay. But please... Help us. Wherever you are. I... will. This is your chance to prove it, then? Looks like we all have a lot to prove. Make good on. How can we get away from the city safely? Give me your hands. I'm in. Ivaroa kind of reaches out and grabs him. There's this immediate rushing of air and sound. You feel this like immediate impact, like someone had punched your gut, but without pain, just the air kind of forcefully leaves your chest for a second. Your lungs kind of, <gasps> as you inhale, you feel the red landscape kind of bend inward, and then <laughs> as it reflexes back out, you're standing at the base of the bloody bridge, <laughs> carving upward, up towards Exandria above. You are still in the middle. You can see yourself standing there in the moment, and there are other like soldiers. There's quite a large military presence surrounding you. But none of them seem to be reacting to your presence. So, like at the center, within stones. Within throw? like a ten-foot walk from the bloody bridge, you are right in the middle of the military encampment you landed at when you arrived at Ruidus. Oh shit! Actual walk. Active, active, active. Find those who you can trust, and find me. When you need my guidance, I'll see you in your dreams. Now go quickly. I can't hold this long. Oh shit! I got one health point. Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Right. There's no choice. We've got an army around us, so in we All go. Right. You see, like this faint wish. trickle of blood, like curling down her nose as she's Does concentrating. Does it look like she's like time stopped or something? Are people? It looks like their surrounding space is like you see, like guards there, but as they shift, it's like super. Oh, super oh, 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 yeah, flex on them. I mean, fuck yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she's so cool. <laughs> Can you learn that? I want all of her power. Maybe <laughs> 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 we just like harness. It's you have a harness for that. Yeah, that's how you. Okay, okay. Just like her powers. Just grab her by the back of the neck. Let's go. All right, okay, 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 okay. Y'all leaping one after another into the bloody bridge. Um, as you're stepping through, you just kind of hear in your head, I'm sorry. <laughs> Take off into the sky. <laughs> the rushing of the energy, pulling you up through the scattering sense of power itself. You see other things going, <laughs> coasting by from the opposite direction as from the outskirts of the rushing red energy, like the, 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 the push of a massive fire hose of magical power, pushing you back towards your home world of Exandria. It emerges and all of you end up now standing at the base of the Malleus Keys. At the top of those little stairs? Little stairs, you all kind of emerge here as you glance around. It is evening. You're not sure where. Uh, what's With like the, some clouds in the sky. What's going on around yeah, us? Look around. I'm gonna take a health potion. Pass okay. that a Wait, what do you mean we're not sure where? We're not back at Mally's. No, no, no. no, no, no. We're, we're, we're oh, unless you have a healing spell. When we spell. left, it was all like fucking, fucking crazy. Yeah. 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 Correct. Okay, then I'm gonna kill you. Let me see. Let me see. People that could kill us. Uh, yes. Immediately, you see. Uh, yeah. Save that. The okay, entirety of the interior of this place is. Like the the same kind of encampment that you saw, but there are regiments of uh, Rudian soldiers kind of at the ready. You can see there are weapons set up on the sides of the space. Um, this is essentially a an evening military encampment at rest. Uh, not dislike where you left it. It's just in a less, less chaotic space. Nobody's looking up. Nobody's noticing noticing you at the moment. You're not sure how long you have. But we, there are patrols. There are patrols. There are probably, even at first glance for you, Orem, and even those around, you can see somewhere in the neighborhood of like 70 to 100 different individuals that are just kind of 
scattered throughout. Only a handful are like walking, while others are kind of sitting and resting, and others are preparing weapons. Others are just kind of. We could try settling. and ask to be taken to Odahan's quarters, like to drop off her stuff if they haven't realized that she's dead yet, or we, we could, could just try and walk out of here. Drones and walk out here. And we are walk. still in the red. Yeah. Gear, right? Mm -hmm. We are. We got stopped plenty on the way down. Does so anyone cops. have any pass without a trace situation? I do. I do. Yes, do. I bet, yeah. Let's do that. All right. We'll so we'll just like... try to act like we belong here and head on up but and. I can't remember. Does pass without a trace help us with the no, act casual? The no. Right? Yes, it does. It does it? It it, it no. helps with the stealthiness of it, um, of like physically stealthing around, uh, as far as like passing yourselves off. Um, it's like blending in and uh, playing. Yeah, plain into, view. into crowds. I would say that is more of in this instance, when you're like moving through here. I mean, it's helpful, and you can do it when no one's looking. But for the first two hundred feet, it's just us. Yeah, pa around. pass out a trace is to not be seen. Yeah. Okay. If you are noticed, then that's where more deception would come into play. So. I mean, we could try and stack it. I guess. Yeah. So like, like try well. to be un just go, unseen, like, but then nonchalantly until we are noticed, and then we're supposed to be here. Like a group deception check would mean. You could pass your way through here without issue. If you do a stealth check and it fails, then you've caught attention, and then the DC for oh, deception oh, gets oh, higher oh, because oh, now oh. you've drawn attention. So we just try to be nonchalant. Yep. So it's up to your it's up to your call. That's, I think that's you know, a, pass without trace does give you a plus ten to stealth. Yeah. So. Too many people. I think okay. we just pass without trace. Just go. We just, just no. Deception. I think we just deception. 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 Statistically, we have more of a chance of failing a deception check without any buffs as a group than with Pass Without a Trace That's plus true, 10. Because I'm a negative two deception. I'm also a Just to be that monster You're not wrong. We can always that try it good. and then go to plan B, which is deception. All right. <laughs> Energy wise, I feel like we would try and blend in, but the, the mechanics are different. Nice. It's up to y'all. Yep. Has that chase? You are also descending from the top of the Malleus Key for Which is really does it in do the like middle a, of everything. Yeah. Does it do like a <laughs> super visible? Yeah, there's a, a flash. Yeah, I don't think we can just still. Yeah, I yeah I, we have to look like we belong the here. Then let's all do the thing where we surround Imogen uh, like she could mm -hmm. be Lillian. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. Bodyguards. I, should I disguise self as a Rylorn? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. okay. Disguise self as a magnificent. With I'm going to tie my hair kind of over to the side so it looks like a braid. Okay. Like her. Alrighty. So, as you all, the few of you kind of prepare yourselves visually, and now as a group begin to descend. Um, I have like a group deception check. Oh, oh, oh. Deception. This is where I really oh, hope y'all roll well. Be better. Ain't going to be me. Okay. Okay. 23. Okay. 23. 23. Twenty three. Twenty three. Twenty three. Twenty two. Natural seventeen. On this. No, just the DC is adjusted based on the fact that you are wearing. Uh, yeah, that statistical thing I was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. But like advantage, like you get to roll again. Is there anything? Like that? <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Oh boy. No. 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 Who? No. Who? No. 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 That's so no. fitting. That's so we fitting. We fucking just. <laughs> just Somehow, Shetney and I are the most. I rolled convincing. a one on my Imogen dice. How? I should not have rolled my Imogen dice because I'm not Imogen right now. <laughs> all right. So as you all emerge and begin to descend the staircase that leads down from the top of the I'm Malleus sorry. Key, you coast down amongst the various ruins and the large military tents and you know, gather bits of materials. You can also see other war beasts from Ruidus have begun to make the transition to Exandria. The, the military defense of the Malleus Key is growing larger. And you can see the edges of the, um, the actual Tishtan site. There are signs of massive battle. While you were gone, it looks like either a major scuffle happened, and like a mm. section of the, the one of the inner kind of walls of it is blown open, and there's like a massive kind of cave-in landslide that happened there. So it looks like the, the escalation of of might and and uh, assaults on this space, or at least defense as well, uh, shows uh, violence is increasing. But as you're taking these in and you begin a maneuver, you Orem notice that. Uh, Two Rylorans kind of gliding by. Not walking, gliding. What you see are like two mystics that kind of take attention as you come down the steps and just kind of begin to pursue. 
I think, to Imogen. Great. Uh. As they begin to get closer, you also watch as they pass through groups of people. Huh? Are we all brain linked? We're not brain linked anymore, because FCG is dead. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Um, I can, in your head, I can say, uh, I can fly two of us. Um, Dirk, how close are they? Uh, right now, maybe about 120 or so feet away, okay. but they're like starting to gain speed a bit, and you watch as they pass through or nearby other soldiers and Vanguard members, they all kind of like, oh. like they're all just being kind of Alerted in their heads. Alerted that something's off. This is going bad. Uh, what, do we do? what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Are we repairing Odahan's equipment? Like, let's that, just keep I, going until they get within 60 feet. Yeah, then we. Just keep the plan was to just flip to deception. Oh. Well, I don't have no. the stealth, but yeah, that doesn't. <laughs> no. There's no way to flip to stealth. No. I know. Oh, I should have done that first. Okay. I know, I was with you. <clears throat> I get it, percentage. Travis. <laughs> we fucked up. I rolled a one. No. We got I this. I could have rolled That's a how 20, it works. but this. I rolled a one. Got this. It's all good. That's Guys. how it works. Okay. Luck is on our side. <laughs> Let's just keep walking. Let's just keep walking. Keep walking. We're, we're, keep we're going, cool. we're going. We're going to get out. This is what's known as a lucky streak. Uh huh. I feel like I, I still smell like that hot dog costume. God damn it. <laughs> keep going. Still. My head can't. <laughs> I just smell pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Going. You watch as Vanguard members begin to like, okay. after they're essentially pinged in proximity to these mystics, begin to like reach for their weapons and begin to stand up and all begin to kind of follow behind them. There is a slow growing uh, kind of makeshift battalion that is support, beginning to close in behind these two mystics as they begin to gain on your somewhat quickened pace, but still walking. I tell Imogen, when it's time, turn around and tell them they're dismissed. Okay. And in no need. Okay. Of their support. When they're closer? Yep. All right. Yeah. 80 feet. 70 feet. 60 feet. I stop walking. <clears throat> I cast. I twin spell. Oh my god, I hope this works. Twin spell phantasmal force. Okay. Uh. My last second level spell. Smoke. And what they see is Liliana Timol. Okay. Nice. All right. Spell DC on this? This is intelligence saving throw? 18. Oof. Intelligence. 18. Ah, natural six. No, I just want this spell to work once this campaign. Hard idea. So you turn around, I... mutter a bit beneath your breath, and release the invisible bonds of the spell against their minds to ensnare their perception. What do you do, Imogen? I turn around and I look at them. No need for an escort. You're dismissed. Both of them. Stop. And drift around oh! the opposite direction. Okay. And you watch as the, re the, the, rest of, <laughs> the rest of the gathering crew kind of slowly <laughs> dissipate, like <laughs> shake their heads a bit, kind of shake free of the brief influence calling their attention. Super and they all begin okay. to scatter back to whatever they were doing. And you got sorcery we points, though. Keep going, keep going, <laughs> keep going. That's it. That's it. And get up spells, and out but... of here, please. All right, keep you walking, begin to trek keep up. Keep walking. The the nearest incline that kind of guides up the side of the small, the the, the tall uh, Tishton excavation walls. Heading up that way, you see one of the large warders kind of like <laughs> heading down. You kind of have to move to the side as it gets near. That's a tall drink of water. Wow. It kind of like walks by and takes in your troop. And continues walking. If we look around, do we see Plain Rider Rin? 
Do we see a statue? Just, Do we see know, an arm statue to anywhere? A place of convenience yeah, on the yeah. way out. <laughs> Just for, you know, as a hat rack. A potted plant. Yeah. Just decor anywhere. outside a tent. Just anywhere. My eyes are so check. good. My eyes are so good. Yeah, both of you roll some. Let's just, just We're just rolling. Just don't roll a one. Uh, 30. 30? Yeah. Pretty good. Oh, that's way, that's better than my 15, but I, I still Still pretty decent, 15. yeah. I am looking. I see. Uh, you actually uh, feel pretty confident that she's nowhere <laughs> around the Maldives. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> you also are, are pretty, Confident, you don't see any pieces of her. You don't see any like signs of a shattered statue. What about a toe? <laughs> a stony toe. Um, but it, while this is where she was turned to stone, you get the immediate sense that she's been relocated. Why is that woman dressed like a hot dog? Who <laughs> <laughs> knows why so mad people do it? <laughs> <laughs> so almost high enough to see into the real dimension. Yeah. <laughs> Why do they have dice? What does that mean? <laughs> um. <laughs> Atreyu! Oh my god! <laughs> what an existential crisis yeah. would have. Um, oh, it's Bastion. My bad. Bastion. <sighs> okay. How dare you. How dare you. But you can't even hear the movie. <laughs> know, anyway, yeah. um, eventually you push past and get up to the edge. And you, looking up, you can still see the, the beam of the bridge coasting up to the red, ruinous moon. You can see uh, some of the, like, the heavy clouds that looks like a storm just passed over maybe a few hours before and is now moving away. The open night sky, the kind of welcome sense of familiar air um, and being outside of the immediate space of tension is very, very welcome. You. Look around the perimeter can see the multitudes of defensive weapons that have been set up. Some look like they're of Viridian make, some of them have been moved from other parts of Exandria. There are multitudes of designs, different cultures pulled together, um, as well as some unique kind of cobbled uh, weaponry that you're not, into, not entirely familiar of how they would function defensively or aggressively, um, offensively even. Um, but you recall the basic direction of where you were brought here from the Westside Encampment, where you were uh, carried via Keyleth, and looking at the vicinity of where things are set, um, or especially with that 30 perception, you'd know which direction is west from here, and what would get you probably closest to that encampment. Okay, all right, so I'll point that out. And are there still, like, skyship wrecks all around as we move through? I remember that. Oh yeah, there, there's there's an, an, a unique graveyard around the exterior of the excavation site that includes Numerous destroyed skyships, numerous destroyed uh, military uh, siege weapons and wagons, and as you continue to kind of walk through, uh, not being bothered by any of the exterior watchers who kind of don't immediately take any sort of interest in the robed figures slowly kind of doing a perimeter around the southern edge. Um, the only time that they would probably draw any attention is when you just start walking out into the darkness uh, as a troop. But as you pass through here, you can see all matter of large craters that have slammed into the surrounding ground. Uh, signs of mass detonations. The land itself scarred by recent battles. You see bits of armor. You see, uh, and you recall before saying this, you can see along the outside there are pikes that are adorned with trophies. Um, you see different temple-themed armor sets. You know, pauldrons and chest plates that are adorned with the symbol of the Moonweaver. You can see holy symbols that are hung on the edge of uh, iron spikes that are jammed into the ground that kind of hang and dangle, where at the end of the chain you see swinging the medallion of the Dusk Maven. You can see all manner of captured holy imagery that now is set upon the outskirts of this site as a warning and as a sign of pride that any who any steps beyond stops here. Do we see any symbols of the change bringer? With your perception, uh, it takes a little bit of a walk and you have to get a little like close to the edge to really kind of pick it up um, with as little light as there is. Um, but you see along one of the torches that kind of matches the perimeter there, one of these like ever-burning magical torches that flickers, uh, you see the familiar sight of what looks to be a, uh, a cloak that, as it hangs itself tattered and torn, as it kind of flows with the 
occasional breeze, you can see the familiar symbol of the change bringer, her face still standing there from the side, looking off to some unknown horizon. I'll grab it. Can we find a place to lay low for a little bit? I'm not there yet. Yeah. Um, I am going to, I still have third level left, and I don't know if it'll work here, but I'm going to try sending. Okay. Um, see if I can send a message to Keatliff. We're back. We're at the surface of the Nye's Key. Just trying to find a way to get back to you. Doesn't take too long for her to respond. Oh, that is wonderful news. I'll be at the encampment as soon as I can. Can you get there safe? Oh, that's not how this works. Um, uh, I'll. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Forty years using this phone, yeah. still don't Shit. fucking got it. <laughs> oh fuck, that's right. Ah oh, fuck. Wait, the encampment. That I, the encampment. The encampment. The the mm. the one we were at before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the one where it was one one of a number of encampments that have been built on the outer perimeter, uh, the Hellcatch surrounding the space where a lot of the staging. Grounds. Yeah, uh, where, where what military might is being spared at the moment from different nations and city states and such are being sent in preparation to both like keep an eye on the site and previously help give you the kind of smoke screen to make your infiltration. Um, is it evening, did you say? It's evening, it's dark. So, okay, so it is getting dark. So we can Just stealthily maybe make our way out. At some now, point we're gonna hit it. Yeah. From where you're standing now, this would be a great time. I'm sure you don't okay. want to just use a deception check to try and get her up. Hey, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, 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 fuck off. They were such yeah. a cute couple. <laughs> 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 Hashtag goals. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but you still have a pass without a trace. I do. So we could use that yeah, as we wander I away. I do. Just like you put it. Just like I planned just it. Like, yeah. Just Look, like we had talked about, it doesn't and we're matter. Do it now. We save the day. It's yeah. fine. We did. We could. We could have done it before. We're gonna do it now. It's no big deal. I'm gonna do it right now. Pass without a trace. Okay. So you go ahead and pass without a trace. The shadows cling to your robes. Okay. I get a group stealth check from you all, and plus ten to your uh, okay. final. Okay. That's what I get. Did That's you roll a one? one? Did you roll a fucking one? <laughs> 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 That's normal. So appropriate. That's just right. That's, That's just, just right. right. All right, so we got a one over here. Wow. Wonderful. Wow. 29. Damn. Okay. 16. 16, okay. 28. Okay. okay. 22. Okay. 24. Cry, 24. cry, cry. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to spend hey. some time jumping Okay. As yeah. I'd say about now it's starting to wear off. Right, you guys have taken yeah. the time, both like slowly coasting around the outside of this. So you start diving in for a bit, and you feel like the ground's getting more resistant, and it kind of makes you feel a little nervous to continue. I'm gonna take uh, what I've basically been using as some nice, quiet scream therapy. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> Jump back up and turn into Crystal. Okay. I forgot vowels. Oh. Um, <laughs> I probably have dropped mine as well because I'm sure I wasn't Correct. walking around yeah. all like. Yeah, you. you yeah, it's actually pretty valid. Thank you for your mind. I assume you might want it. So you both do Probably take won. your two points of exhaustion. Yep. Okay. Um, which is, it does wind you and your speed is reduced because yep. of the exhaustion. So I am so you, fucking tired. You're traveling at this, you're, the rest of the group is traveling at the speed of your slowest members, which okay. it would be Fern at half speed right now. 20, what, what yeah. That's uh, right. Half so speed. limping 15. away from this Correct. horrific experience. I mean, that's about right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except Chevy. So, oh, 35 feet. <laughs> yeah, skip it. Oh, As the shadows do and swirl your troop, and you peel off from what was the kind of feigned perimeter walk of your group from the site, you begin to make a western bee line in the direction where you hope you'll be able to see the encampment. The tension begins to fade after about five or so minutes when you do not see any of the other perimeter guards following suit or taking note of your divergence from the site. 
And now as you all kind of quietly walk under the stars of the Exandrian sky, in silence, looking across the distant, kind of rocky, barren horizons of the Hellcatch, really the first moment hits in where you get to begin to process what you've lost. I'm going to turn around and look up at the moon. That was awful. We're still just wandering the desert on the route to this encampment. That's where we're at. You didn't have to do that. Letters. He'd been itching to do that since the day I met him. No, it's funny. It's the first thing I thought about Ashton. I knew he was just gonna pull that shit. God fucking damn it. I remember your warnings to him. I've seen enough fights go south. If letters hadn't done that, we'd all be dead. Yeah. I know. I yeah. just felt like we were so close. We could have had her. We don't, we don't know that. You don't know that. She was too strong. He saved us. He made it count. We've got to do the same. I can be angry at the same time. Those are really easy to hold together. Where are we going? Back to Caleb. We have to tell him everything we learned. Yeah. We need more help. Uh, I hope. I hope. We made the right call with Liliana. You were never gonna get her to. She would have come. I think she would have come, but I didn't trust her. I think it's smart to give her this opportunity to prove herself. You've been without your mother for so long. What's a few more months if it gives us the advantage? It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have worked. I know. She would have come because you said so. She got it. You know. That just is a fucking disaster. I feel like... Fuck. I feel like that shit with Ludness, I think she... I think she doesn't support him. I do believe that now. Mostly. I felt that hold, though, that Pradathos has. I felt that... that welcoming warmth that she spoke of. And she's been there so long. Yeah, she clearly has her criticisms of lewdness. Although that sounded pretty tangled to her history with him, but um, she definitely seems like a believer in Pradathos. I think it's more than that. I think, I think he's part of us. We're his children, right? But she said at the very end, this is, this is what you're designed for. That yeah. hit you too, didn't it? Yes. It made me think of FCG. And it also, I feel like I, I owe you an apology. I feel like I understood your mom on a deeper level in that moment. I think it's just reminiscent of something that sounds like we all struggle with. Not being able to supersede that feeling of being designed 
controlled, manipulated. But it also just made my heart break for her. It feels like we've been very privileged to go on a journey guided by FCG to to learn more that we're more than just what our creators intended for us. And I don't think she's had that. Yeah. Made me sad and grateful at the same time. Mm. Yeah. It made me angry. I don't like being angry. You're too fucking good for her. I... doesn't deserve this fucking world. I hope she's right. I really do. I hope her ends are fucking great, because these means are just... not forgivable. Johnny. Hmm. Where's Oda Hans shit? Here. Lay it out. Lay it out. I walk over and I pick up the sword, one of them. I jam it in the soil. That is the blade that killed my father and my husband. She is not right. I'm gonna walk away from this group for a little bit. Imogen? Yeah. I love you. I love you too. I love all of you. Just perhaps we should say it more. Yeah. SCG was so unique. I mean, every time someone, every time someone saw him, they reacted like they'd never seen such a thing before. <laughs> but I, your mom left us with such an interesting tidbit of info that Ludinus was on Alexandria, overseeing this the pieces of machinery that were being brought up. Yeah. Yeah, I, I turned to, uh, oh, fuck, what's her name? <laughs> Evera. Evera, sorry. Oh, shit, I forgot she was here. She, Evera was just like, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> she's, she's like, <laughs> it happens a lot, actually. Oh, <laughs> so <please."> sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Jenny's gonna okay. fuck you, I have a feeling, <clears throat> later. I don't really say that out there. <laughs> Is this the first? <laughs> Um, about the table. Not, I know that there are this, the floaty beings, but one of the Bormodos? Yeah. Never We've never seen it. a Bormodo on Xander? Uh-uh. No. Uh, yeah. yeah, this would be a big deal. And you can see her, like, I, like while you guys have been having this conversation, <laughs> she's like a little bit behind you, and it's just kind of taking it all in. Oh, shit. Oh, all right, sure. fuck. Well, sorry. Zane. Welcome to the blue dream. Promise. The blue promise, promise yeah. <laughs> It's not blue right now. No, it's such not But there, not there is, there is um, a, a swear. What do you think of the sky? It's not oh. normally like that. That's where you live. Mm -hmm. So much smaller from here. Yeah. Mm. It's had some work done. Things are weird out here right now. But there's some prettier, better spots here. It's... We're gonna find friends, uh, people that you can trust, but until then, uh, just keep a low profile. Of course, no. Take I, your time. I will. Thank you all so much for, for helping get me out of there. Of course. Thank you. I haven't done anything yet. I have a feeling you will. I'm assuming 
those machines that Luna's striking up to the moon has something to do with what we found in that crate. Yeah. The Cerberus assembly marking. Yeah, I want to get all this stuff to Imaha and Joe and... Mm. I feel like there's more there. Yeah. This feels like... This feels like morning problems. You said you knew where Ludinus was. <laughs> Does... Do you have a city name? A, a yeah. location? I don't know where it is, but he's referred to it a few times. What did he say? It's called Aeor. It's where he's getting all these things and where we... Is that where he is now? I don't know where else he'd be. It's... You mentioned he ran into Mother problems. Fucking Mercer. <laughs> Sorry, what was your question? Been obsessed with that A or shit. MFMM. That's a t-shirt. Hashtag new tattoo. Wait, why well, don't get it? Mother Motherfucking Matt, Matt Mercer. Mercer. Ow. Okay. Is your sort like her? Her awe kind of shrinks in as she starts getting technical, and you can kind of see kind of why she was chosen for this. The moment there, there is like a, a curiosity and a, a passion for this element of her intellect, though as unfocused as she might be at moments. She goes, "Well, um, so a lot of this tech was being brought in there. It, it, uh, we were able to combine it with some of our initial designs of, you know, shifting and uh, changing up uh, our developments for various war implements here on, on Ruidus and." Um, they had developed a lot of things based around this this thing, this, this Malleus key he was talking about. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was, uh, so part of my thing was to help originally to design tools that were used to burrow through the outer layers of the glass pillar, uh, where Kaviris was. Oh. It's, an, it's an impossibly th thick layer of glass, but the exultants, when they came in here and began to consult with us alongside uh, Ludinus, they, were, they began to speak as they communed with the being of, of the, uh, the, the, the Planet Moon, used for I guess to you, uh, there were there were multiple layers to this glass. Uh, the outer layers uh, was simple enough to get through with some of this tech we designed it, but the secondary layer that we got through was like adamantine. It, it, it seemed like it was had some sort of uh, uh, divine magical origin in its construction. Um, you know, our standard designs were too slow in trying to get through there, given the rapid timeline of what was going on and mounting opposition from uh, Exandria, uh, as you said, across the bridge was starting to grow tension. So. Uh, Illuminus was going to go back to uh, seek out God. what tech was available. Uh, supposed from to be Aeor. from Aeor. Is there supposed to be a continued source of it being excavated from uh, his uh, his troop, his vanguard, his allies? But there was a problem there. Something called he called it the Dominox had kind of Dominox. Uh, had begun to take up root there. Was causing struggles with their excavation, and so he was going to go take care of it himself. <laughs> that was just a, a few few days ago. Um, the Dominox is what took up root in Aeor. In Aeor? It's, it's so wait, up, so uh, he just... went to go fight some big powerful thing, right? Some bad bitch what called if, the Dominox. What <laughs> is? What if it weakens him enough that we pop in <laughs> and then it was like bam, bitch? <laughs> oh God! Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> wait, did did did, did, did Lunis mention if like Dominox is a big beastie or is it like a? a Group of uh, I, I barely caught just the tail end of that conversation. Um, maybe. Emperor, maybe, keep going, uh, ignore maybe, us. We're maybe Keyleth maybe Keyleth knows something about Dominox. <laughs> Do we have we ever heard of Dominox? You never heard of Dominox. Keep going. Yeah. This is all gold. Story time. I cannot follow any of this. Anyway, um, from from what we were understanding, there there are certain implementations of uh, magical synergies and the technology that was being presented as part of our our, our study group um, that had a uh, the tech had a unique understanding of the, the weave of godly magics, uh, div divine type magics, and how to unravel them on a very base core uh, oh, point. Um, okay. So this is the basis of our project. It means to penetrate the secondary glass shell that contains Pradathos within. Uh, you know, so take inspiration from the, uh, what's it called, the uh, Malleus Factorum, uh, and the other <coughs> trickles of nearby <coughs> tech, and uh, <laughs> essentially uh, develop it in a smaller <coughs> scale that we'd be able to, to go through these additional layers of the, um, the oh, god you... adamantine stuff? Yeah. Uh, uh. How many... So, apparently, uh, the the glass of uh, 
the glass veins that run through the planet uh, are the the remnants of Perdathos's last form. Um, when oh. it was locked within its prison. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. wait, can I pull out <coughs> the... Stop interrupting the I'm story! Sorry, I'm sorry, I just went. Okay, cool, good go. So, uh, yeah, that that's that's the theory. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus. Uh, well, can I well, can I pull out the little globy thing that we 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 got? The little globy. Oh, oh that's yeah. in the bag of holding. It's in the bag of holding. Okay, then. Yeah. Mm. Oh, these little wait. wait. How is no, this? No, right, right. That 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 right there. Uh, the, we we've. So we've been unable to to map deeply without the help of the uh, the exaltants, and uh, when they are able to connect with the aid of the weave mind to deeply bind with the essence of Pradathos, they were able to feel out the extent of the vein network. Uh, we were uncertain of the source; just knew they were resonant with the one who sleeps. Um, but from what we're we're gathering, that was likely uh, a reflection of. Uh, his, its form when it was sealed away. So the glass is what its body once was, then turned to be its own prison. And so whatever it is sleeping within is within its own glass prison and the layers between. And that's where the tech and the exaltants, that's where all of this is supposed to come together, is to break past these boundaries and then free it from its prison shell of what it once was. Yeah. Would, would you know about this whole vessel uh... Business. It's, it's a, is it basically going to possess one of the exaltants so that it can walk across? That I don't know. No. Yeah. Okay. They kind of keep us all siloed. I, I only know what I can because I was having to keep ears open for the volition and, you know, give back what I could when I could. Could also be more than one. Yeah, but that, maybe the vessel is for. Not for Pradathos, it's for Lumnus? Mm, yeah. I mean, it might not just be one person that's a vessel. It might be multiple, might be multiple vessels. vessels. Yeah. His <coughs> could be a sacrifice, could be a host, could be a, yeah. 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 could be a ton of stuff. Dominox, the Malleus Factorum. Okay. Ludinus okay. wanting to be like an exalted Rudus born. That was Ooh, interesting too. So cute. Thanks. I mean, for to play it so long, I, I can't remember which character knows what. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, no. We don't know. We don't know about Aeor. We don't know about Aeor. Don't know what that means. All you all you know is yeah, Aeor, Aeor Maton. You know that's right, right. We've key. Heard it. Yeah, you you've heard about it. You know, know it was an ancient was society right. where FCG and Frida were both constructed. Then we this some kind of, that of vision. <gasps> yeah. Oh, Frida. Oh, Frida. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. just, just, just thinking about it now. now? Are you? I thought about okay. it, but it's been a week and yeah, I forgot. Yeah, no, I'm remembering no. again. It's been nonstop in my head. Yeah. Yeah. We have to tell Frida. Oh, he's. Freak. Yeah. That's not gonna one one awful moment at a time. By the way, we yeah, haven't had a moment to stop since we've been running. Are you hungry? Thirsty? How are you okay? Oh. It's been a sprint since we yeah, got you out of that. I'm ex I don't know how long it's been since I've eaten or had a drink. I'm feeling real rough. I got some so basic, you got something basic for me. rations. Uh -huh. Or I can make blueberries. He's 40 feet over there. Or I thought far away. Oh, came back just a little bit to hear everything. I, <laughs> I have a passive perception of 33. I heard okay. it all. He's clocking yeah. up. Okay, yeah. just make sure you yeah. knew what was going on. Uh, she immediately begins to like, just devour whatever you hand her, and, like scarfing in a messily way. Like the large hands grabbing and handing them to the smaller hands, which are like pushing them up into the face, and it's just like a four-armed feeding frenzy. Do we? And we still have your, your, Saita. your Saita. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start putting everything uh, back in the bag of holding. Can I take, with reverence, can I take the sword out of the sand and just look at it? Yeah. It is a, a sleek saber-like weapon. It's like a very faint curve, the thickened blade itself having nearly no hilt and where the hand wraps are, you can see a tight leather kind of cross wrap across it. And where it fits the bottom of the pommel, there is a, a long kind of a set of leather wraps that just kind of swing as it goes and it moves. Um, there's a bit of a hook towards the back of it, and the blade itself has a very, you can, don't even notice it at a distance, and you don't realize like the, uh, the the pain that it has. There is a faint serration along the edge of the blade, about halfway down that goes to the base of the, where the hilt, the kind of basic hilt would be. Um, it is extremely light, and even just holding it, 
there's like a faint vibration to it with each swing. Well, this is Ishta, the Summit Blade. Ishta, the Summit Realm. Maybe we can absorb that shit. Yeah. That's gonna be permission. That is gonna be. Permission. That's not our sword. I am lying down on my back because everything fucking hurts. And waiting for everyone to decide what the fuck we're going to do. Well, we just have to get to the encampment. Keyleth is waiting for us there. Mm. Do we want a short rest where we are? Should we keep, should we push on? Let's we push on. Well. Short, short rest ain't gonna fix anything. Yeah, let's just push on to the encampment and then we'll be safe in Keyleth's bubble. Mm. Uh, Eva Roa walks over to you as you're lying on the ground. Sends an arm to help you out. <sighs> Thanks. Ashton, you all right? Say that again. I know you're not all right. No. Are any of us? Will you be? Will any of us? I think the answer to that is yes and no. There are, there are particular moments I have discovered in a person's life where they have to decide what they're going to do next. They often start this way, although at a smaller scale. I think I need to sleep. I think I need this headache to go away. Uh, I think I need to break something. And then, uh, you know, I think in the morning, start having some thoughts about who we're going to be next. <sighs> you seem very lovely. I hope that you do great work. You were very expensive. And I start slogging very slowly towards the, towards the direction we're going. I'm gonna head towards Orem. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Saying, as, yeah, as you walk away, she kind of brightens up the first thing you said and then kind of darkens with a sad expression, taking in the connotation of it and kind of okay. continues to follow in pace with the rest of you. I'm going to head towards Orem, mm -hmm. who's at a distance, and approach slowly. Hey. Hi. I'm going to put my hand on your shoulder. Sorry, I know how hard all that is for you. Don't apologize. I can't begin to understand how hard it is for you. You know, every one of us makes our decisions to the lenses or prisms we see life through. Mm -hmm. I can't take mine down. It's not even about revenge for me. They sign up to do. Well, I didn't know them. But I can't imagine they wouldn't look at you and not be proud. I think you've gone farther than anyone could ever expect you to. And you're still going. So far. I'm going to miss him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to 
mutinous letters. They were... They were alive. <laughs> Benny was... <laughs> just wanted to help. I want you to know that I'm... that for a while it may have felt that you and I were not seeing eye to eye or um, maybe you felt that I I didn't have the same goal in mind that you did. Don't worry about that anymore, all right? I understand family. Yeah. Yeah. I want for all the world for you to have your family. I wanted that too. And... God, that back and forth is... It's a pretty funny thing, but, um... Choices were made. And if nothing else, then at least we've got... a little bit of knowledge on the inside now. Yeah. Much as we'd like to, you can't turn back the clock. That's right. But you've got us. Let's squeeze your hand a little. You mind if I take a minute? Take all the time you need. We're heading to the encampment. I'll catch up. All right. Just stare out into the dark for a half a minute or so, and I. Pull out the stone. And reach out to Dorian. We're home. Can you hear me? Um, northeast of Basarus. Can you get there? I'm struggling. Sorry. Can you get here? Fuck, I miss you. As the words leave your lips and the spell sends them aloft. I'm gonna ask you all to leave the table, please. <laughs> you don't uh, mind. To leave? Yeah, to like leave, leave. Oh. Like leave, get out, get off the, get out of the table. Okay. <gasps> okay, fine. <laughs> if you don't mind. Oh, uh, whiplash. Fuck. Let's go find that hot dog costume. <laughs> I want a hot dog real bad. Fucking hell. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> <sighs> you know what? I think I'll take it from here. I think it's time to see the other half of the story. We'll do that after the break. See you soon.
first, Laura Bailey here to guide you through what's new in the Critical Role shop. Oh, so comfy cozy. You need this? You probably need this. Roll an investigation if you want. It's basically perfect. This is pretty badass. I mean, the traveler always says impulse purchases are a good decision. Style should never be a dumb stuff, darling. Look at this. Isn't it fashion? So much fashion happening here. This is, this is a lot of stuff, you guys. We have, like, so many cool things right now. And hey, if you want, you could head over to the Critical Role shop right now. Knowledge of the Flare is not exclusively held by Candela Obscura. There are many in the Fairlands who try to exploit the magical bleed we work to quell. In the gilded halls of the Varnish, the wealthy gather to celebrate their collected avarice and gluttony. But beneath their revels, sinister plots cast shadows of the past onto the present. When New Fair's most powerful find themselves in competition, it is those who work in their shadows that suffer the consequences. The Circle of the Crimson Mirror, assignment number 4316, The Gilded Graveyard. Delve into a new tabletop role-playing game of investigative horror with the Candela Obscura Core Rulebook using the Illuminated World System by Darrington Press. Roam the turn-of-the-century inspired setting of the Fairlands, including the bustling city of New Fair and the ancient ruins of Old Fair below. Assemble a circle of investigators within the paranormal secret society of Candela Obscura. You'll analyze strange and horrifying events, fight back against dangerous phenomena, and contain the bleed that spreads from corruptive magic. Choose from 10 custom character sheets to empower your investigations and explorations. Use tactical intuition and brawn with the soldier specialty. Use your charm with finesse and flair as the magician specialty. Or study and practice mystical arts as an occultist. Explore districts of New Fair, competing organizations, four full assignments, and dozens of example assignments to inspire you. If you choose to brave the role of game master, this guide contains everything needed to pave the way for your Candela Obscura investigators. Offered in both a standard edition as well as an ornate limited edition for collectors, the Candela Obscura Core Rulebook contains 204 art-filled pages, including maps, items, immersive notes, mysteries, and plenty more to power your very own story. Keep this tome close, for the knowledge obtained may be the key to protecting you, your allies, and the Fairlands. Suddenly, the mirror pitches to the side as it swings open on a hinge, angel music style. Lark's arm reaches out of the dark doorway behind it and pulls Phineas through. Leaving the eternal light of the un behind, the disguised duo descends a claustrophobic, cave-like staircase into windowless darkness tunneling down, down, down into the mica of the city's bedrock. The natural crystal of the walls has been polished and thickly coated in an opaque black paint to block out its luminance and to seal in its sharp, hazardous mica texture. Except for small, bare, gently luminous patches here and there, giving just enough light to see by. Darkness doesn't just 
happen in the highest light. It has to be meticulously manufactured, engineered. Now go live to a special address from the president. Hey dweebs, now as your president, I've been kind of killing it lately. I gave global warming an atomic wedgie, I balanced the budget by selling my pog collection, and I saved the Queen of England from that octopus. But my kickassery is far from done. According to this chart that I made, an estimated 35% of you are still a bunch of nasty goobers. But don't worry, I have a plan. Operation Gag Me with a Spoon. It's easy sleazy. According to the study that I wrote, if every citizen subscribed to Critical Role on Twitch, we could reduce maximum goobage by a metric buttload. Twitch is the only place well, you'll get a live and moderated chat. And if you subscribe to Critical Role, you instantly get access to all their shows as soon as the live broadcast ends. So while you're oogling these Critical Role dorks with their sick goof em ups and their nutty voices, think of me, Gail, the current president of whatever. Now I gotta go make a fresh batch of spitballs, but I guess I have some time for your boring questions. You. Gail, is it true that if you subscribe to Critical Role through Prime Gaming, you have to resubscribe every month? Uh, yeah. I do it right after my monthly prank call to pee on O'Brien. Next question. Does Critical Role have exclusive emotes for their subscribers? Uh, do we? Of course they do. I like the Hello Bees one because bees are cool. I replace my whole security detail with a bunch of bees that think I'm their queen. Last question. Yeah, with all due respect, is Operation Gag Me with a Spoon a real policy, or are you mad goofing? <gasps> Am I mad goofing? What, do you see me scarfing milk duds while doodling ding-dongs on the Sky Mall catalog? Listen, I know I'm new to this, and I admit that when I made the wish to be the boss of everything, I did not know the witch that works at Woolworths was listening. But Faustian bargain or not, I am the president now, and I have an obligation to lead this country. So to answer your question, no, I am not mad goofing. Security, take him out. <laughs> Later, shot records.
vibes. We're here. We're back. In a different time slot. This is nice. So, my lovely crown keepers. Kaimo. After the events of our interlude, those long, long weeks ago, you all moved north past the silver, uh, the silver cut crossroads to lay low in the Wildwood Valley. The settlements you dared stay at for more than a few days are more village than town, but the narrow edge of your escape from Posca and the Nameless Ones has you, Keiji. What's the true distance of her reach? How far would your sister go to find you? And what do you think, Fiorai, she would do if she found you again? It's been almost a month of low living. The, the six of you, Cyrus included, have a small cache of broomstone that you all sort of harvested from your <laughs> slow moving getaway platform. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, like the yeah. first three, like the first three weeks was you just slowly <laughs> drifting. Can I use oh, my man. stuff to move this thing faster? <laughs> can I roll with our hands? Can I roll? Yeah. Cyrus has been doggy paddling for yeah, weeks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back there. <laughs> <laughs> that checks out. Yeah. Two little bimbos. <laughs> Two little bimbos just blowing in the breeze. Uh, yeah, you guys were able to sort of harvest the broomstone from your platform. You have it secreted across the six of you. So in the event that you have to scatter, you all have access to an incredible amount of money. Were you able to find a place to fence it? You are not too far from Craghammer. Westrin is a little farther away, but those are big hubs. Posca's reach might get there. The Myriad, the Clasp, the people that were pushed out in Kaimul. You are some of the few survivors of whatever went down there. And a big city isn't safe. <clears throat> but two weeks ago, something new began. Whispers reached even your remote ears. A solstice, the moon of ill omen, the blight star, lost from the skies of Taldore, trapped over Marquette? Disenchantment of old and powerful magics. No sending, no teleportation, no resurrection. And those of you with connections to the gods of this world, the Wild Mother, the Spider Queen, the matron, the matron of ravens, and even the observer, you have felt a pressing on the threads of your connections with them from the prime and betrayer gods, your first inkling of fear. And even from the observer, a new bit of interest, curiosity about the goings on in this world. And then a message from Orem, desperate, so sad. Halfway around the world, he bade you find the Tempest in a tone that pushed your group from hiding to haste. So you find yourselves on the road once more, headed south, then east, towards the summit peaks and Zephra. You walk. This this time has been dark and difficult for you all, not just because you have had to settle for living and hiding, no longer around the glitz and glamour of Kaimul, the standard of living that you were all accompanied to. Even Cyrus has been showing signs of getting a little antsy, a curiosity, a need to move in a new direction. And then again, Opal's been getting pretty dark lately. As you travel, I wanna know just from the group, what's on your mind? What are you doing? What is, what is your plan? Is it just to find your way to the Tempest to assist Dorian once more in his quest? 
Or are you looking for something different, something new, somewhere new to go? Or a sign to maybe splinter off and head in your own direction for new adventures? See, Dairy X has n no drive or goal outside of the people that he's attached himself to. A sense of kinship with those that he's traveled with and have been kind in his ramblings and stumblings, um, but also a renewed sense of protectiveness over Opal in these recent weeks, and a concern means he's liable to stay at Dorian's side to follow in his footsteps even further, but also not far from Opal to make sure he shows where to put her footsteps. A protector. Um, <clears throat> I think Morgan could best be described as a dog, a, a dog on a leash or a horse just chomping at the bit. She has been given so much new purpose in making a, um, giving herself to the Matron of Ravens as her champion. She doesn't feel that she deserves it, but she loves this new sense of purpose that she has because that's all she ever wanted. And the second that she left Kaimal with these new comrades, I think she thought that everything was gonna align for her and then she found herself more lost than ever. Sometimes changing, changing location doesn't solve all of your problems. And she feels distant because the people that she's with have a bond that is different than what she has. And she has a new allegiance to the matron. And the second that she says bite, she'll bite. It doesn't matter who it is. Yeah. Lying in wait. I think after the um, <clears throat> discovery of the uh, situation and change of heart, or so Fira thinks a change of heart from her sister, um, she too has been not lost, but, uh, and not fully demoralized, but just confused as to where she is most needed now. Um, she does remember once telling Dorian that not all family is blood, much family is chosen. And so she's doing her best to divert her protective nature even more to these, to these people who she was sent, pulled by the Wild Mother to protect. And um, she's still feeling that loss of that one person that she was so connected to who now apparently doesn't just hate her, but wants to kill her. Conflicted. Um, <clears throat> I think over the past few weeks, uh, <laughs> this should be the scenario for Dorian that he thought he wanted, uh, freedom, uh, adventure. Um, and it's not so much the situation that's sort of dragging his mood down these days. Um, because he's glad to be surrounded by his friends, and he's glad to have friends, truly, uh, for the first time ever, but as he's had more time alone, and as he feels the group sort of start to drift, uh, he's starting to come to a, a realization that's unsettling for him, and that he's missing something in this equation that he thought was would lead him to the right answer, and it's purpose, and I think, uh, I think it's something he ran from months ago, uh, something he felt like he didn't have and wanted and wanted to just forget about. And um, as he looks around at these people that he's grown to love and growing to love and, and being with, um, he's starting to wonder what, why he's here for the first time ever. From drifting to searching. Mm. Yeah. I think Opal is kind of like in a strange, almost like a dream-like existence where I think 
she's like losing the thread a little bit. I think there are moments of clarity and when there are those moments, she works overtime to be more herself around her family because she feels like if she can keep it together in that way, then then she has some sort of control over it. But I think much like when you're in that space, that space between like falling asleep and being awake, it's all very confusing. Yeah. And in the moments where it feels a little more dreamlike, I think you might catch her with a faraway look on her face um, or just maybe murmuring to herself. And it's very concerning to her, but she's not wanting to alarm anyone yet. <laughs> a what was that? <laughs> Opal, I like that you said dreams because I think your dreams were the thing that went first. Mm -hmm. It is not that you go to sleep and have nightmares, but I think in your youth, you would go to sleep and dream or have a nightmare and have some memory of it upon waking, even if it slips away across the day. Mm. But every night now, for two weeks, you go to sleep and you wake up exhausted, mm. as though your body has been tense, moving. Recovery is difficult and whatever happens from when you close your eyes and give yourself over to sleep and waking is a void. Mm -hmm. and lost. Mm -hmm. And anytime you reach within yourself towards Ted, towards whatever that connection is for clarity or understanding, the first thing you notice is that every dawn, if you reach for Ted, she is exhausted. Mm -hmm. And if you ask her, if you press, she tells you little and less. Mm. She doesn't want to worry you. It's not your fight. And that's the important thing. You know there is a fight happening mm. and you have no recollection of it. Two weeks and now you're on the road again, traveling long days down the road, exhausted. Mm. And it is at some point just a few days into your journey towards Zephra, towards purpose or adventure or whatever comes next after your last big quest, you feel it. Something inside you breaks. Too tired, too much holding it together. Your mind is yours and Ted's and hers. And she has been whispering to you. You feel that fear, that concern, a pressing, a hastening, and it all becomes too much. You all walk down the road and Opal stops. Frozen, she's looking a thousand yards away in a direction as if she's listening, trying to hear, trying to understand, but she is stock still. What do you all do? Hey, hey Opal, you, you feeling all right there? Can I hear him? Give me a wisdom save. Save? Mm-hmm. Make the difficulty 16. Oh, 16. <laughs> It is like someone is shouting at you while running backwards. You hear him closely at first, but it seems to be drifting off and away. Okay. You can respond. Did you say something? Yeah, yeah, you're just, uh, you know, like you're, you're getting one of, those, uh, one of those distant moments again. Oh. Last time, you just wanna make sure you're all right. I yeah, I think I'm, yeah, I, I, did you guys hear anything? Huh? I 
grab my rapier and I look around and see what I can possibly perceive. <gasps> can you make a perception check? <laughs> that was the strongest ask for a perception check I've ever had. Please take inspiration. That was incredible. Perceive. <laughs> the plus is. Make an investigation check. Thank you. Oh, I wish it was perception. No, okay, it's I'll, perception. It's 100% perception. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, 50. Oh. 20. Unnatural 20. <laughs> A very strange 20. A strange. Ooh. 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 The spookiest 20. <laughs> we gotta get these chuckles out now. I'm so excited. What, what <laughs> do you think? What's the first thing that Morgan would look for? Well, I'm I'm still I'm still keeping Posca and the nameless ones kind of in the back of my head, so I'm trying to figure out if maybe someone's around or afoot. Like a person in the trees. Where are we? Are we on just like a dirt, just on a like dirt a country random, road? Random. Yeah. Okay. You're not like you guys are actually a little bit off of the main road. You're mm -hmm. walking through like the wooded area just off to the side. Okay. Just in case. Okay. Being extra cautious, extra safe. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm afraid for many reasons, and also just because the balance of magic is so thrown off that I'm kind of like anything could happen at any time. I really, Posca. Um, I don't know, a goblin, I don't know. Name, 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 name your names. I don't know. <laughs> Joe. That felt mean Joe to me Lightbeater. specifically. <laughs> name your names. <laughs> I will not give you my true name. Your choices are Posca and Goblin. Yes. That's it. Posca, Goblin, end of list. Yes. <laughs> you do not hear the steps of people mm -hmm. anywhere around yeah. you. But the second half of my question is, what is, the thing you are most afraid of hearing or noticing? Ooh. Um, I feel like I should know the answer to this. That's okay. If um, it's a vague dread. Uh, a non-we, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, something, something coming towards me that's too big for me to take on. That's just enough wiggle room that I'm just gonna get right in there. Oh, sick. Thanks cool. so much. No problem, girly. <laughs> okay. No problem, bestie. It would be so easy if the thing that you felt on the wind and around you was a monster, mm -hmm. a very big goblin, mm -hmm. a bunch of guys. Yeah. But what you feel is the pressure of, I wanna ask you, what was it like, what did it feel like to Morgan when she made her, her deal with the Matron of Ravens, when she committed herself to becoming a paladin oh. of her cause? I mean, it's ineffable. I mean, it's like, I mean, finally, for once, I have a direction. Yeah. Um, I like, I have, I have a home and I've never really, had one, a purpose. Um, I mean, it felt like, it felt like pure light, even though the Matron of Ravens is most associated with, with death. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't even think the idea of something that, like something coming at her that's too big for her to take on, she wants to prove herself so badly, especially because she has all of these, this new kit, so to speak, whatever in game <laughs> speak, like she has so much to do and she spends her, all of her days just training, trying to, trying to figure out how to get a grasp of, of, of what she's got. And um, there's an excitement and a fear there for her. And I think that's probably the, the combination of things that she felt when she made, made her, her pact. Excitement fear. and fear and a desire to prove yourself yes. against something, and that, against a world, mm -hmm. against whatever the spiritual presence you feel and you felt when the Matron of Ravens went from a being of crow and corvid omens to something overwhelming, massive in front of you that chose you, mm -hmm. that gave you direction and purpose. You feel that overwhelming feeling again, but it is tinged with something deep in the pit of your stomach something that you know that your mistress it curdles her stomach so it curdles yours and whatever curdles the stomach of death incarnate that's pretty scary 
you turn towards that feeling of gravity and you look at Opal trying so hard to shake off whatever this is and you see it in a flash, in a caw, a bird song before it hits, an Opal. It's not that she raises or levitates off the ground, but she seems to grow massive and then she explodes out in every direction. And I'm just gonna need my map now. We're gonna get started. What? Oh. Bring my map. Oh, oh my okay, gosh. sure. Yeah. Am I I'm dead? sorry. No. Yeah. You can go home now. Okay, bye. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty funny. I think what I want to happen now. Hey, Matt. Oh, yeah. Can you do me a favor? <laughs> sure. Oh. I think I'm gonna need you to slide on over there for me. Oh. Over. Oh, no. Yeah, over to there. Over no. <laughs> which way? Which way? Between this way. This way? Scoot! Yeah, you go. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Let's see something a little like fun. This. Yeah. Oh, Let's fun while it lasts today. Oh, no. no. I'll kind of take it so in here. here. Let's go. So oh, much stuff. Whoa! It's so spooky! Oh. 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 There's yeah. a skull in that rock. No! Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. It's got to keep me. Yeah, you ruined the whole thing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. 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 It gets stupid if you look at it. No, but you need some. I, I, I mean, spooky, not stupid. 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 My scheming it gets more stupider, like you went to Jupiter. Where are my little minis? Oh, here we oh, are. Here. Here. I got one. We're right here. Oh, everyone's got them. I'm just too short to reach you. Yeah. Where do you want to be? You're going to be here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Whoa. Yay. Oh, okay. good slide. Sorry, slide, Matthew. Everybody, everybody. Oh, yeah. Everybody. Oh, I'm so lonely here. We're gonna come this way. Oh, that music video. This combat is brought to you by. Yeah. What? Yeah. Let's go, man. Go away. Ah. The Mighty Nine box set available now. The Mighty Nine box set is now available. Uh, uh, find these many more critical role miniatures at wizkidsio slash minis and your local game store. I got to do that. Yeah. Yay! Seamless. Seamless. Good yeah. job. Yeah. Don't worry, Matt. Immersion. Matt, if you do enough of these, you'll get the hang of it eventually. Yeah, you, you know what that. I mean? Oh, that's nice okay. in my reel. Yeah, you can actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Immersion. I can already tell to change the energy in the club. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh no. So oh, no. cold over here. <laughs> this seems fine. This seems like it's cold. <gasps> yeah. Oh no! What's happening? Trying to get a view. This is comedic lighting, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be great. Oh boy. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, Opal. Oh no. Uh, yes. Oh. You feel yourself splinter out, and the parts of you inside of you shoot forth webs, tendrils held together with points of iridescent, opalescent gemstones. You've been getting pretty dark for a while now. And you hear her voice in your ear. <laughs> so sorry. I think I wanted us to have a little more time to do this organically. But your sister keeps getting in my way. This isn't gonna be good for your image. We've been working so hard to rehabilitate. I don't care about my image. I care about my life. And what I need more than a rehabilitation in public perception is a champion, a true champion. What does that mean? It means I need you to come with me and I need to sever the ties that keep you with them. Why? Why did, what did they do? They tie you to this place, they hold you back. And what I need is someone who works for me, who serves me. You accepted my crown and now the bill is due. Opal, twice crowned, 
you will become my champion. Wait, where's Ted? She's here too. Is she hurt? No. I wouldn't hurt you. And Opal, you feel inside yourself this conversation happening, but on the outside. All of you see her raise into the air. She lands on a platform, a set of ruins in a bit of forest that suddenly in that burst of energy, all the leaves are burned away and scattered and you see bits of webbing, opalescent gemstones embedded across the ground and Opal turns to you all. And Amy, I need you, before anything else happens, to tell me, who's the biggest threat in the Crown Keepers? Oh shit. Um, probably, what do you mean threat? What do you mean? Like who can do the most damage? What do you think I mean? Amy thinks, this is not a question I want to answer. <laughs> Opal uh -huh. is probably the most scared of Fiera Rai. I need you to make a series of attacks against no. Fiera Rai. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, before, before I do that, I would like to, can I do my, tell, uh, uh, can I do a, can I cast a ritual? Can I, can I, can I do telepathic bond? I will say, for the sake of your guys' like walking through the woods, uh, you would have ritually cast Rary's tele telepathic bond at the beginning of the day. Okay. So you are all connected in a telepathic uh, group chat. Oh. Gotcha. oh cool. Okay. Okay. Nope. But Opal isn't picking up. True Opal isn't picking up just yet. So what comes now simply comes. Okay, so not of my own volition? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna have to Hexblades curse her first. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey. I love you, baby. Pull no punches! You. I know you. It's okay. I'm Let sorry. me be so okay. clear, Amy Carrero, love of my life. If you pull a punch, I will know. Okay. And I'll make it worse. <laughs> so you don't need to turn? <laughs> oh, okay. So okay. I need you to swing. I love it. All right, cool. I'm gonna be a big girl about this, and I'm Let's going go. to uh, uh, throw three beams of Eldritch Blast. So first off, before wait, you wait. attack, what does it feel like when you Hexblade curse Fyodorai? What does she feel? What does she see? What is the group suddenly made aware of? Well, I think to, to Opal, it feels like it feels like when you when you when you need to throw up, but you really don't want to. In this case, it's that feeling of like dread, like, oh no, like that kind of like, please help me, someone hold my hair back. And, uh, <laughs> and it doesn't usually feel that way to her, but in this case, because she's a friend, it does. And, um, but I think what she sees is whatever uh, sort of mask of any faces, like pretty opal is dropped. Yeah. Um, and it's just like a very quick sort of look dart of the eye and just, it's her eyes are just black. Um, and it probably feels like um, a hand around the throat. Mm. But it's pink. <laughs> <laughs> pink Theater hand eye. feels so different. <laughs> <laughs> you feel that grab around your throat and you look to your friend and you see opal, a crown and then a pink crown below it, eyes dripping black, a set of arms reaching out, a second set of arms reaching down. Make your attacks. Real quick, what does Hexblade's curse do? Um, uh, once per short rest, choose one creature you can see within 30 feet. Curse for one minute, plus five damage to, to damage rolls, uh, critical hit on 19 or 20, and I regain 18 hit points if you die, which you won't. <laughs> Which you want? Okay. The knight is young. Okay. De -de 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 I add a 10 to each, so uh, does 21 hit? 
does. Does 22 hit? It does. Does 13 hit? It does not. Okay, thank God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. all right, this is so already the I most roll. fun I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She'll get into it, don't okay. you worry. All right, Math. this isn't so bad. So, uh, oh, sorry. 1d4, I rolled d10s, my bad. Oh, yeah, these are better. d10s, what are you doing? I don't know. Uh, d4. I got it. Oh, this is my bad ones too, so this is my bad d4s. Oh, is it Why are you rolling d4s? Because it says d4, 1d10, you're right. Yeah, I'm, gonna roll. This, I'm looking at the wrong thing! Hey, Amy, look <laughs> at me. I'm looking at my vicious whip! Here's what's gonna happen, you're gonna roll 2d10 for I got the two that hit, and you're gonna add plus 10 to both of them. Okay, so 20, no, 11, okay. and 20. So 31. 31. Oof. Okay. Yeah, 31. Fantastic. 31 damage. It's all right. Oh. And with that, you see your friend. You feel a hand around your throat holding you in place. You are a monk. You move through the world. You bend around nature and keep yourself live and agile. And you are held in place by your friend as two dark bolts of energy land center mass in your stomach and there is nothing but to take it you feel that sense of nausea get chased quickly by two gut punches force damage yes but betrayal and i need all of you to roll initiative <laughs> quick, quick question. yeah of course hey. this was a surprise so i wouldn't have a reaction uh, no, okay. no. This was just my. I think when you feel it, you just hear like the telephone. No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that means Maybe. it doesn't. It doesn't count, right? It doesn't yeah. count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's, that's what that is. is. <laughs> yeah. God, I'm sweating. I rolled, I rolled <laughs> my ass is sweating. Really. Yeah, it does. Add your dice. So 27. Fuck yeah. 27, baby. Natty nice. Twenty-seven. Let's Let's go. Anyone above twenty-five? I went twenty-seven. Yeah. Twenty-seven for Morgan. All right, uh, 25 to 20? 23. 24. Okay. Uh, okay, gamers. <laughs> and, all right, 23. Uh, 19 to 15. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, buddy. Sounds right. Buddy. We're back, baby. The Dariax curse of the battle. 14 to 10? No! Oh. No! Yeah. Hey, I'm just gonna ask. It's nine, baby. Nine! Oh. Okay. Derek's with mm. a nine. Okay. Opal, how'd you Boys do? Boys are back in town, y'all. What do you mean what'd I do? You have to roll initiative, oh, too. Oh, I have to roll okay. <laughs> you're in the fight. Oh, you're, you are you're, the fight. Can I you're the fight. I, I think she wants to just walk away at this point. Oh, two! Wait, no, plus two is four. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay. At that? Woof. Roll for Ted. Oh. Teddy. Sweet love. Ten. 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 Uh, and is your familiar out? <laughs> yeah, that little bitch. Hello, <laughs> spider. Go ahead and give me initiative for your spider. Uh, nine. No, sorry, seven. Seven. Five, seven. seven. Copy that. Uh, All right, go off, Cyrus. Sweet. Morgan. Yeah. You are up first. Sick. What you see around you is Opal, you hear in your head after she attacks Fiorai. No, I'm sorry. And you see this strange battlefield, spider webs glowing. The ground seems to churn and you can hear with your big lagomore ears skittering far off and away in the woods. What do you want to do? Uh... I'd like to a attack, move it and attack. Attack what? Oh my God, I don't know. Do I recognize anything as like a, uh, is it all one one big thing or is it all these different things? Do, can I can I point out one thing that I could actually? Right like now, body? yeah, right now, the only combatant you see is Opal. <laughs> all right. Why don't you give me, like just sort of looking at the lay of the land, uh, the, the strange new thing that has happened is this webbing and these like weird, like sort of gemstones on the field. Why don't you give me perception or investigation okay. your call? Damn, I rolled a 19. Uh, 24 Hell for yeah. perception. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perception. You see those like shining bits. They are deeply magical. 
They don't seem like you're looking for something to hit. And these are not necessarily that. They are something of opal. Yes. Thrown everywhere around you. So there's something of her. Yes. So it's all one thing. Yes. Great. I am going to, She's is she 30 feet away from me or do I need to move closer? You are. I love that I'm all the way in the back. Yeah, do you want, would you have wanted to be closer? I would like to be within 30 feet of her. Sweet. If that's cool and chill. We can cool say that you started chill. over here. Okay, cool. That's fine. Everybody's I... gonna be clustered up. That's cool. not bad for me. Amazing. <laughs> I would like to cast <clears throat> haste on Opal. On Opal? On Opal? Wait. What? On Opal. Oh, a willing creature on myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Don't do that. Let me be so clear. Do you hey, look at the eye. I am a child. I am a child. Erica, <laughs> I will Venmo you twenty dollars if you <laughs> if you I hate not. Opal. It's gonna happen. Right now, I will do it. I made thirty dollars. I made a I made a Give little bit Celsius. of a mistake. Run it back. That's okay. That's I actually, I actually yeah, don't need to be within thirty feet of Opal. I need to be within thirty feet of myself. Okay. Which uh, one can say? So you I'm gonna are. cast haste on myself. Awesome! Incredible! Yeah, um, I'm really good at the mechanics of all of this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, I'm You're gonna cast. Great. I'm gonna cast haste on my on myself. That's what I'm gonna use my action for. Okay. And then, as far as movement, oh wait, actually, one second. I had a whole plan here, but no, it's okay. I, you know, you went before stuff happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there? <laughs> That's what you get for rolling. Honestly, far too high. Far, yeah. far too high. <laughs> um, oh, actually, oh, okay. Actually, this is what I would love to do. Um, could I actually move within ten feet of her? Is that is that an option? Uh, yeah, or is you that get in close, and you can. Uh, I'll have you make an acrobatics or athletics check. Your uh, your call to come up onto like to scramble up the platform to get within ten feet. Great. Totally good and easy to do. Okay, cool. I'm gonna. So I'll make an. I'll make an um, athletics check. Oh my god, my acrobatics is ass now. It was so good. Oh. It could be athletic. But she's a blade. Oh my god, I rolled another 19. What the hell? Yeah, baby. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Yeah. Honestly, this is vindication yeah. for last time. Oh my Fair. god. I feel vindicated. Um, also, don't forget you do have bunny hop. So oh yeah. In Wait, instances where you were. Bunny hop? Rabbit hop, yeah. yeah. I have rabbit Stop. Hop. Mm, sorry, sorry. it's rabbit hop. I could have said it I mean, I don't really need it right now, right? No. Just if you're like, oh, I don't want to roll like ass, you could also just big, big bounce. Sick. Cool um, again, 26. 26? Yeah, to get up there. And yeah. then I would like for my bonus action to... I've missed minis. They're so, <laughs> they're actually this so cute. Oh, um, here. Uh, oh wait. I, Look at these ladies. I, I lost what I was gonna do. Okay. Stand by I'm like gonna, a weird dick of I'm gemstones. going to use my vow of enmity. Oh. Uh, oh, I'm gonna whoa. utter a vow of enmity against against this creature that I can see. What creature? Using my, opal? Uh, opal. Yeah, using my channel divinity. As, as long it all as it it's Why all not? the same. I mean, I could just like yell at a jewel, but this is cooler, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, this feels really aggressive, and I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm no, learning my, new I'm go go myself. Vow like, of yeah. what? Uh, vow of enmity. <laughs> so I gain. I, I just gain advantage on attack rolls against the creature for one minute or until it drops to zero hit points or falls unconscious. Amazing. Someone, Ooh. someone. Hexblade's curse retorted with a valid. Oh, I, yes. Wait, so can you read that one more time? What do I do? Um, all I do is gain advantage on a okay, okay, rolls gotcha. against you for one minute. Got it. But um, but um, but I, I kind of whisper to you. I say, listen, we're gonna get you out of this, okay? I don't know if you can hear me, but we're gonna, we're gonna get you out of this. Okay, I can hear you. Um, just try not to kill me in the process. No, no, no. I'm just gonna knock you out a little. Okay, great. Okay. And I would be so clear that that is like a telepathic bond. Yeah, yeah. Mm. What you are looking at is a stone cold mm -hmm. opal with like no visible sclera, mm -hmm. iris, yeah. pupil just turns None. to you the moment that vow hits. <laughs> That's all you get. All right, anything else? I don't think I You're can. You're hasted, so you have you have 47 things you can do, I think. Oh my god. It's okay. the scariest spell. Like one more action, right? Wait, yeah. Do I get to do it on? You have when 37 I, when I actions. Yeah. That's 96 cool. bonus what? actions and 400 feet of movement. Oh. Delightful. Oh my god, wait, where does it explain what my hasted action is? I don't think I ever actually hasted saw Hasted action literature. is generally an attack. Oh my god. Or anything else that's an action. You can't cast another spell necessarily, but you can be like a dodge, or oh. it can be okay. you know, other then, standard well, actions. Warlocks need that. Oh my gosh, okay. I don't have haste. Um, she mm -hmm. almost cast it on you. I tried to <laughs> give her money about it. <laughs> that was a mistake on my Look, part. Look, you said 30. 
That's sixty dollars. That's fully a yeah. skill. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, fully a skill issue on my part. I don't. I don't no, admit no, no, that no, lightly. No, it's all good. It's um, all good. No, never. Um, you're perfect. But I guess for my hasted <laughs> action, which again, I don't know where that is here, but thank you for letting me know. I tried to find it. Um, it's all good. I'm gonna take my crystal rapier, and I'm gonna go for an attack. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll to hit. Oh, and I have advantage, huh? Yeah, you do. Yep. Yep. Sure do. Oh. Okay. I'm squishy. That's a, a 17. <laughs> okay. Uh, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Roll again 20, just to see Yeah. No. Okay. So 24 to hit. <laughs> I'm just You have advantage. You have advantage. We need you on this thing to okay. hit. Okay. I'm on everyone's side. Um, yeah. Wait, all right. Fair. You're good. I'm Darius. You are Darius. You're just like, yeah, just like what a Jared nice guy. Down. What a nice guy. One d8 plus two. That's a three. And then I get um, improved divine smite. So I'm gonna roll another d8. Okay. Pa passively, I get another, and so that's a four. And then I am going to. I'm gonna use divine smite at fourth level. Um, and is Go she a help. fiend? She is not. No. <sighs> that's your friend Opal. Well. She's just a little guy. She, she's just a little, oh, she's just a little guy? Okay, not <laughs> right. Whatever you All say. she did was go, I'm gonna choke my friend a little bit and make duels on the ground, and then you decided to murder her. I've been to that party. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just feeling bad feelings about all this, so I yeah. would pr much prefer to have her unconscious so we could deal with this in like a more. For sure. Yeah. Civilized you can certainly try. Yeah. Um, on a more civilized manner. So I'm, I'm casting it at fourth, so I think that gives me 5d8. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm gonna do 5d8 more damage. Okay. Where are we at? That's a one. That was nine. Find out at the end. That's an eight. Yep. That's a one. And that's a three. Three. Thirteen and nine. Wait, five, right? One more. Five, eight. Yeah. Yeah, one more. Yeah, one that's more. That's a five. Eighteen plus the nine from before. Yep. So we're at twenty-seven. <laughs> yeah. Twenty-seven points of damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that you put into your friend. Yeah. <laughs> what does it look like as you attack her with your crystal rapier? Murder, murder is what it is. Um, <laughs> I don't think that I do it with pleasure. I think it's a very like, I, I walk up to her and I sink that uh, rapier into like, I can't even do her, like I can't even do her stomach. Like I have to do her thigh mm. and I just like rip it down her thigh. Ouch. And I just going, I'm sorry. I think this is what I need to do. I'm sorry. Opal. Mm hmm You take none of that damage. Oh, okay. You feel the dagger sink into her thigh and that second set of arms grabs the blade at the bottom and pushes forward and pushes out and what walks in front of Opal? Where are my little minis? Where's my little guy? I don't think you've had the pleasure of meeting Ted. <gasps> oh! Your blade is sunk into the dark shadow of something that looks like opal, but where opal is all like like thin, smooth lines and like liveness. This is like if opal did CrossFit for three years oh no. and was like pure raw red meat diet. Oh my God. This is like meat beast bandersnatch opal that is holding the blade <laughs> in her thigh and walks forward. Like, like Ted took no damage? Ted is going to take all of that damage. Okay. Opal takes none. I mean, but you have effectively separated opal and the other half of her soul. Uh. She looks at you. Eyes as blank as Opal's are now. And pushes your sword back and out of her thigh and reaches behind her and pulls out a massive sword of her own. Oh. I get another attack, right? Or do I not? Uh, yeah, you have two. Did right. you do both of your attacks? No, in I, just, your... I just did one. Okay, yeah. yeah, attack again. All right. Um... In this moment, Morgan's almost a little bit relieved because there's something else to fight other than Opal, and I'm like, okay, maybe she's got like this proxy. Um, do I have any blood on my hand, or was there no Opal blood on my hands? Like when I when I sunk that dagger in. When you sunk that dagger in, you like Opal Please. began to bleed, and then this shadow walked forward, and the shadow does not bleed. Okay. So what you have on you is a little bit of Opal's blood. Okay, gotcha. 
Um, okay, cool. Well, I'm just gonna go at Ted again with mm -hmm. my, or at Ted, now I know it's Ted. Fuck you, Ted. I'm gonna go at Ted with my crystal rapier again. Um, and I have advantage, right? You have advantage on Oak. Oh my, oh, just on Oak. Wait, I thought it was all, oh, that's all. Oh. Dirty. Hey, bud. Dirty, dirty. dirty. <laughs> That's a 15. It's not even real perfect. As you go. 22. Ted is going to scream across the bond. No, 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 stop! And that's going to be her verbal component for casting shield, mm. which is going to turn Ted's AC to 23. Mm. All right. You hesitate for just long enough that her blade goes and deflects and she stands interposing between the two of you. Her mouth doesn't move, but you can hear Ted in your head across the bond. What are you doing? Why are you attacking her? Do you think I'm an idiot? I know something bad is about to happen here. What? You could, you could help the, why is the first thing you do drawing blood? I don't know. I will protect her at any cost. And if that means, and at this point, you all hear Ted's voice getting quiet, not you, as she stays in your head. If that means I have to slaughter you, you can be the first body to drop. And you hear the skittering of spiders. Yeah. Anything else you want to do? No. You still have 400 feet of movement. Oh. I'd like <laughs> to move away. <laughs> you can go do anything Damn. else in the world. You could go to a different Four. campaign with I the rest like of your movement. Arby's. <laughs> 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 you find an Arby's. You get a giant yeah. hot dog yeah. that looks like a pussy. Yeah. We haven't forgotten that. Yeah. We haven't forgotten <laughs> I get a giant hot dog. I look at it. Mar it's hot actually Marisha. It's Marisha. Yeah. Yeah. my car. Hot yeah. dog. Yeah. Um, I'll never forget no. it. No. I'm okay. so sorry. Yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to move away, please. Sure. And where do I find this information about my haste movement? So uh, so haste, haste, oh, haste just, no, yeah. just, it's just double movement. So whatever your movement is, Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. And don't forget, you. you got a plus two to your AC while haste is up. Oh, sick. Okay, yeah. Cool. You're incredibly hard to hit. Uh, Oh, and when you use, don't forget, when you use your hasted attack, you only get one attack, even if your like paladin abilities would give you a second attack. Oh, okay. So Wait, okay, okay. And you can attack twice, and then you yeah. can use your hasted attack to do a third. There you go. So you're good. Okay. You cool. did it right. Cool. You're perfect Sweet. and above reproach. <laughs> uh, just so you know, uh, you're kind of at the edge of this platform. If you move away more than five feet, Ted will get an attack of opportunity on you, but you can just sort of skirt around Me. both of these problems. Skirt. Yeah. yeah. Just Where do you want to be? Um, do you want to like try to get behind? Uh, like what are you trying to do? Probably like back there, maybe like back near that rock. Back here? Uh, or back there? No, back further back, please. Back here. Um, if you leave oh, okay. that threatened range, she's gonna get an attack. Oh, on okay. You Let me just as far back as I can get without doing that thing you said. <laughs> Uh, you move just sort of over here okay. to kind of turn around. It also gives your friends like a clear view on what's going on. Okay. And you realize you're standing uh, under your feet. You see like an arrangement of those like opalescent yeah. gems. Mm -hmm. It's a little pattern of four. No perception check. It just sort of kind of looks like a dick. <laughs> Cool, 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 cool. Oh. Under your feet. Wow, that's it's so big. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> there it is! I knew it. There it is. I knew it. It's wow, crazy. everybody drink! Perfect. I'm so distracted. Perfect. <laughs> oh. There's an ash hole right next to it. No! Yeah! Yes! I can't well, bring there it back. Yeah. As it like kind of gives under your foot, like your feet are sort of cracking across this, and you're like, oh, there's something to it. You feel you feel something magical as your feet sort of like skirt across it. Like if you put more pressure on it, you can break them. But they are something to be interacted with and are magical. You're just a pure paladin, well you just get that for free. Yeah, I'm cool, pretty cool, cool I guess. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back. You rolling well is terrifying. I love that. 
I love that for me. I love that for all of us. Yeah, Next up is Dorian. Fyodor, you're on deck. So I got to take this back in time a second, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Like 24 seconds ago, we were strolling through the forest, yes. right? Okay, cool. And, so good and Dorian was kind of up front, like just kind of tooting a little tune on his flute. Kind of okay in his own zone. And then in that amount of time, Opal uh, el levitated, burst mm -hmm. forth spider webs and mm -hmm. gems, shot a bolt, <laughs> and nearly killed one of our Several. friends. Uh, uh, Morgan immediately just stabbed her in the leg. A demon person burst forth in the last like half a minute or so. Not even half a minute. Not even. Not even. Yeah, yeah. It so, really popped off. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, processing yeah. Dorian just. Oh. Like his, <laughs> his last little toot, and like, and like, all of a sudden, no. double toot. Yeah, Is it yeah. A toot? You see his, uh, you see his oh, winged boots you. engage, yeah. and he starts to look up at everything that just transpired. And as he sort of flutters past Fiera, Ryan, he's still got his flute, and he just goes, "Better get your head in the game, bossy Genasi." Toot, toot, and gives a bardic inspiration. Oh. Uh, he's been working. He's been working on his nicknames, uh, and uh, he's gonna use his movement to fly, kind of like underneath that ridge, try, trying to stay out of sight a little bit. Okay. Uh, yet yeah, sneak past the ooey gooey. <laughs> he has thoughts of, for a moment of trying to engage, and just kind of goes. Eh. And I would like to try to get up to Opal and gra grapple her. Okay. Yeah. I think you got some Just strength. I got, I, got I got 40 feet now. Yeah, you're yeah. good. Yeah. All right. Grapple check. <sighs> Go ahead and give me an athletics check. Strength save. Okay. Oof. Athletics. Oh, that's a natural 20. <gasps> <gasps> However, I have a minus one in strength. <laughs> that is a 19. <laughs> this is a... Uh-oh. That is a... Four <laughs> plus <laughs> plus thirteen. So is it really plus thirteen? My athletics is plus thirteen. Scary. Whoa. Yeah. That almost did it, and that's hilarious. Yeah. But it didn't. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fly up to her. He's like, "Are you okay?" And ciao. You try to give her a big hug. What do you do? What can I do? You you're gonna like it's you roll higher it's so you can tell work. me how you avoid <laughs> being oh, grappled. Uh uh. I, I, okay, so in the telepathic, tele, what? Yeah. Telepathic bond, I say, that's a nice hug, you've never hugged me before, but, <laughs> but in, in person, <laughs> you literally, I guess one of my arms just yeah. goes, <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. just Ooh. dead, dead face, just picks, Picks him up. I'm assuming that arm is strong. I don't fucking know. It just kind of goes. Like, <laughs> I like it. If it's the not fact strong that you're enough, like, that it's levitating like levitating means you're very light. You're just like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Doink. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna lose a nail. <laughs> uh, that I uh, Dorian is completely <laughs> disappointed in himself that that didn't work, and he's just kind of like in that bush and just, <laughs> like behind where I got dropped off, and yeah. just kind of goes, oh. And that's it. That's <laughs> all I can do. That's bonus action, action movement. So Incredible. That completes my turn. Uh, while you're here, really go ahead and give me, like, I love the idea of failing forward. So you don't manage to grapple her, but you get in close, and you're, inc you're like, incredibly tight with whatever magic fuckery is happening with Opal right now. You can hear in your mind the difference between what she is thinking and saying to you versus her actions. Mm -hmm. So I want you to tell me a role you think Dorian would make to try to figure out what's going on. Oh my God. I'll give you a little intel. Yeah, not, not his top tier. Uh, uh. I, 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 Are you not curious? If you're not fundamentally I'm, I'm, curious, I'm, we can move on. I am very curious about what's happening right now, yeah. but uh, uh, I got nothing good. All, all, all. Arcana, investigation, perception, insight. All do 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 do. -do. Um, I mean, w what I would do is like try to convince her to tell me something, like like persuasion maybe. But is that is that, is that too well, active? No, 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 I like that. Okay. Make a persuasion check to try to keep Opal. Not the thing acting, but the person inside talking. And we can talk mentally? Yes, you can. 
Hey, buddy, you uh, you want to tell me what's going on? Oh my fucking god! Nat one plus 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 thirteen, fourteen. You want to tell me what's going? It's not. It's four, still fourteen. It's high. You want to tell me what's going on? Here's the thing. That's still a nat one. <laughs> yeah. So, Amy. Yeah. Love of my life. Mm-hmm. I would love if you would respond less as Opal, who is confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And more as the Opal that is acting right now. As that part of you leans in a little bit and addresses Dorian. I think she says, she doesn't know. Who's she? You're she. Am I? Are you? Are you? (laughs) (laughs) Gary Axe nose bleeds just a little. (laughs) So does the Spider Queen who's like, what is happening? I'm laughing so hard. (laughs) Incredible. Uh, Boy. (laughs) Peter Eye, you are up. Um. Okay, uh, a question. In this choking business, am I grappled no. or am I no, just, no, no, that no. was just damaged. It's just the feeling of like whatever Opal's magic is feels like a hand around your throat. It's for vibes. Word. It does not mechanically okay, cool. affect you. Um, uh, <laughs> lots of stuff going yeah. through my brain. How you doing? Um, not, I, bzz, bzz, um, <laughs> okay, so. I just had one sister. <laughs> who decided that she wanted to try to kill me Twilight. somewhere between the time when I thought she was dead and discovered she was alive. Mm. Um, but I've seen this happening with Opal over time. And I think I can shake off the, 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 the so much of me is, is, is feeling again like double betrayed, but I know it's not her, I just know. And over the last few weeks, I think I've been asking the, um, the Wild Mother, I've been asking for the, the, the site to give me some kind of insight as to what is going on and what is going on specifically with Opal. So before I do anything, can I w- go back to those two weeks and start, uh, do a little Ooh, check-in? Absolutely. Cool. Uh, go ahead and give me, what do we want to call that? Uh, let's make it either religion or insight. Yeah, we'll do insight. Okay. No one wants a religion shit. Well, cool. oh, you're gonna go talk to the gods, but you don't want to use ant. <laughs> 25. Well, shit. <laughs> it's always been insight for the well. Of course. So I'll take it. Insight is a slightly different understanding of this. You are looking at the heart of your friend and not necessarily the interaction between the god who's, uh, like, purview she has committed to. Mm. Okay. Shush. Apparently, <laughs> that was the wild mother telling you to give me a message. Yeah. What did she say? What did she say? Did she she said Google I... password required. Oh, I... <laughs> it's one, two, three, four. Uh, we'll do this as a series of questions. Yes. Like I can either offer you generic knowledge, or that's a very high roll. You can be specific, and I'll give you specific answers. Um. Oh, it's so fun talking GM to GM now. Is there yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is there Oh, oh, oh! oh. Yeah. I either talking to him. No, you. That's you're me. That's you. That's you, baby yeah. girl. I did a thing. Let's go. Um, uh, um, uh, is there anything that I can do to peel her away from whatever is happening? Is there anything you can help me do to peel her away from what is happening, you Wild Mother? Those are two very specific questions. And the Wild Mother who, strangely enough, has been, at first you got signs from her, and then in your time traveling with the Crown Keepers, you had like full verbal communication, but it seems as though she has stepped back again and speaks in sign and feeling. Your first question. What can you do to peel away? You feel a little bit of hesitation. Remove the crown. You have a sense of like a stinging and burning like briars or nettles in your scalp at your hairline, ripped away. 
the second question, what could she, the wild mother, do? Is met like a sudden gust of wind blocking your path. Why would she? Why would she stop what's happening? Well, that's unexpected. <laughs> I'll give you one more question. If you want to like follow either of those leads, you can find out more about the Wild Mother's resistance, or you can find out more about the nature of like Opal's interaction with the spider coin. I know this isn't Opal. What do you need from me to help her? What do you need from me to help her? A specific set of questions. You feel the nature of the Wild Mother's answer. Like if you stood in a field of kudzu as it like rapidly grows around your ankles, binding you. A twist of words. What could I do to help you help her? And again, you get that sense of like briars and prickling, stinging things across those vines. Why would I stop this from happening? Not out of fury, but again, out of fear. And then once more, you feel at your temple, the crown and a flash of blinding pain to let you know the cost of separating Opal from the crown she donned willingly. And you flash back to here and now. Fear Rai, what do you do? All right, um. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I look at Opal and I say with the telepathic bond, I am sorry. And I say out loud, you can't have her. Mm -hmm. And I use my key points to pull my hand back. And in my hand, you see appear a, a whip, but it's made of thick lava. And I swing it around between, uh, like, to, to, uh, to her actual body, and not to Ted, so around her. Okay. Um, and I attempt to lava whip her back to me. Okay. Go ahead and make an attack roll, knowing that like Ted is providing partial cover, so her AC. Right, but it's a whip. It's a whip. It can go round, it's right? It's a deck save on her part. It's a deck save on her part. And actually, you know what? I can I can move so that I have a straight line. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Her. Maybe not that way? far. Do I can can I get closer Where to are you like to halfway through, halfway between the two? Yeah. Yeah, but back back closer to the yeah. Let me yeah. Get there. Do I roll a deck save? Yeah, deck there you save. Go. That is a 16. Meets it, beats it, yeah. Okay, so you uh, take... As a reaction. There I'm it is. I'm gonna use Armor of Hexes. Okay. Which is if a target of your Hexblade's curse hits you with an attack roll, you uh, She didn't reaction. hit. Huh? She didn't hit you. She did hit me. You said it hits me. You, it's, you, you okay. made the save, so it well, just says half me. damage. Oh, There's if it's no gonna be ha is it gonna hit. be half damage? Yeah. Oh, then yes, this all goes through. Continue. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I can use my reaction to roll a d6. On a four or higher, the attack misses. It's a two. Okay, mm. so it's a uh, 3d10 bludgeoning, oh. but halved. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. I have 94 dice and I can't, I'm, I can't think straight right now. I can't figure out <laughs> which, which one is which. <laughs> which one is which? That's a lot of dice. Seven, eight, eight and six, 14, oh, the... so seven. So you, have, you have a stadium of dice that get yeah. to watch. Yeah, yeah. No, it's crazy. No, dice. It's, 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 uh, but I'm I would so have done it I'm so confused. They would. They would. Like I, I know. You didn't do very well. So you're going in the. You're going in the. <laughs> penalty, that one's going. The penalty box. Penalty box. Penalty box. Yeah. Totally going to go into the penalty box. Okay. So it's seven damage. That's it. Yep. But um, so that is my action. Mm -hmm. Um. 
I am going to use my. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> I've been, di- I've been dying to do it. It's not like even sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to use sorry. my movement, the rest of my movement. Fuck, oh you guys, everything I thought I knew about the world is untrue. Um, I don't want to be grouped up like that. No, it's probably fine. Um, <laughs> it's probably fine. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I rolled a little Let's, low. We're about to beat their ass in a second. Don't you worry. No, 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 no. We're coming. How you doing? How you holding up? I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, I, you seem a little cold and lonely. I'm gonna get you a friend. I am. Uh, I am going to use the. Sorry. That's like, what does that mean? Continue. I, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Uh, I am gonna spend. Uh, I'm gonna move even further that way. Yeah. Uh, uh, you move across another yeah. dick of gems. Excellent. <laughs> uh, do I feel the? Do I have? Oh, does feel any the any information? Your feet. Yes, I. Oh, oh. But do what? I have any kind of sensation of like what those things are or any? As you move across, like you feel, as you're like you kind of give it a little like test, like yeah. what the shit is under my foot. It feels crushable, and as you lean into it, it feels like. You know what? Go ahead and give me. What do I want this to be? I mean, insight check. 27. The moment you are oh, like shit. heel brushes across the back of it, it feels like it brings a memory to mind. Ooh. All of a sudden your mind like snaps to a conversation you had with her forever ago, but you don't press and you're keeping your eye on her and trying to figure out what's going on. So it's like the beginning of your mind beginning to wander and you snap and call it to attention mm-hmm. as you cross over. And then uh, for my final thing, as a, a bonus action, I'm gonna t- uh, spend one key point to uh, take the dodge action, just in case some shit goes down. Cause some shit's gone down. Preventative dodge? I was a not prepared. to dodge. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's, that's uh, I believe that's all I got. Incredible. Now I get to go. Oh no. Mm. But why? But why? The skittering gets much louder. Ooh, 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 ooh! It's like the Jumanji spiders. <laughs> they are like those real <laughs> fat body. Don't Jumanji get Jumanji spiders. Yuck! The the yuck! Oh, you Here. put the little gems on there. That's that's cute. Awesome. Is that the one redeeming quality? As long as they're like cute, you're fine with it. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Opal is me. I am her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh, I don't even have a spider thing, and those are gross. And one more back here. Oh, just a, just a bunch. Just like a couple. Yeah. Just a couple. There's so many of you, oh, no. and just no. a couple of me. They're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enter like onto the field, as all of you here inside the bond and inside the world around you, the laughter, those of you that have had time and interactions with the Spider Queen. Know her voice. (laughs) You won't stop me from making her mine without killing her. So what are you all prepared to do? Because I will not die to that. And with that, that, you all feel a flash of red behind your eyes. Oh no. Hmm? And the spider way back over here is going to move to a little a little stack of dicks. Oh boy. Oh my god. Those gems. And reaches down and scoops them up and you all see like they flash in the sort of like midday sun and crush them. An opal. Oh. You feel something go away forever and you know it in the moment as you lose it. There's a part of your past. You never really understood what your deal was Mm. with Ted. Who she was to you was your sister, but why did she disappear? Why was she inside you? Why did all of the events that brought you to these people, how did they all come to pass? And there's a story 
you remember now, but how could you remember a thing that your mother told you and Ted when you were three years old as she tucked you in shortly before she disappeared from your home and from your life mm. and by Rodin? There's a word, Evelux. A splinter group, she tells a story, looking at you kindly with shining eyes, mismatched color. A long time ago, a group of people found something called a beacon. And they learned from it. Some great entity or God, a concept that sought to know itself to understand via experience in the world of Exandria, it split itself apart. This one found far away. These people that worshiped Luxon, that's the word, the Luxon, found created magics within themselves to split their own souls apart so that they could learn who they were via observation. Mm -hmm. As a child torn in two, you observe yourself, you learn who you are, what you like, what you want, what you need, your purpose, and then rejoin, find unity once more. Your mother was one of these people. Oh, and so, Ted, Opal, Georgina, are you. You and Ted found each other again, reunited to something stronger than your holes. You understand yourself because you understand Ted. Ted wants to protect you because she is protecting herself. Mm -hmm. She's not lost to you, she is you. Mm -hmm. And you are something rare and magical in the world of Exandria. And the memory of that is gone forever in the moment of knowing it. The other spiders skitter in, getting closer. Let's see. The rest of them are here. They're gonna close a little bit. I think this one can get just a little closer. And the one beside the Ariax is not going to be able to get in and fight yet. They just appear on the field. And you see all of you as they arrive on the field, they look between you as combatants and those gems on the ground and in the trees and in the webs, unsure of their targets, but deciding between both. Do we see anything visibly happen to Opal as that is crushed or is that all internal? I will allow for Opal to respond, like, in the telepathic bond, if you want to. Am I aware of having lost it? Yeah. But I can't recall the memory. Yes. So it's like... It's like when you know you had a nightmare. But you can't... And then the moment you wake up, you're like, that suck. What was it? Yeah. I think you just hear, like, ouch. Okay. Next up is Ted and then Dariax. Oh, that's right, I'm in this. <laughs> <laughs> but you rolled very well. Dariax just wandered off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't like, see what was happening. I'm finishing half a sandwich in the he corner, like, up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those old meat pies we had from the first. Yeah. <laughs> Ones are easier to make. Yeah, Ted knows a good target when she sees it. She's going to round on you and make a pair of attacks. Ted, be nice. Does a 23 hit? Yes. Does it 18? Uh, if it's the same, does it hit? Meets it, beats it, yeah. Okay, gotcha, then yes. Okay. Let's get those two in. Oh wait, uh, does, is that including your hasted? Yes, I've t my AC's 20, yeah. Okay. Uh, so the 18 yeah, wouldn't 18 hit? 18 doesn't hit. Oh, yes! Yeah, okay. I was just looking at what I was looking at. No, you're good, you're good, you're good! <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Hell yeah. I don't, we love yeah, it. I don't think there is, is there? <clears throat> 
Yeah. It doesn't augment the game. Yeah, it, just, it just tells yeah, it you to spell yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. I only know how to read things that are there. No, that's not good. <laughs> that's how reading works. I, that's, I'm yeah. pretty sure that that's what cool. reading is. Yeah. You're going to take 14 points of piercing damage Ooh. from this dark blade. Okay. And now I need you to make a concentration check to see if your haste like stays up. Oh, good. So it is half damage. I think I said earlier it was like the full damage. So you just have to beat a 10 with a constitution save. All right, well. For, yeah, as in uh, 19. Yeah, yeah, you're great. So wait, I do, okay. This Hell is so yeah. small. Yep. Okay, uh, so I take 14 damage? To yep. Okay. Uh, and she's gonna do her best to try to like get in and reinterpose herself between you and Opal. Her primary goal is to keep your attention on her and keep you away from Opal. Okay, and you said, sorry, to clarify the spiders, looked at the dick gems <laughs> and then also at us yeah. wondering what they should Yes. But I looked at the dick gem and said, "Oh, that looks crushable." You did get a sense of like submissive and crushable from okay. these. Okay. But I think you see in the moment that like you hear Opal say, "Ow, you have a vantage point on that spider in the back that lifted up and broke some of the gems." Yeah. Mm that perhaps breaking the gems is bad for Opal. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. No matter who does it, great, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Cool, 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 sick. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, that's Ted's turn. Dariax, you're up. Opal, you're on deck. Oh. All right, seeing all this Sorry, go this down is... at the get-go and then everyone kind of rush in, there's a moment of <laughs> Dariax just kind of like, what? what's happening? And then just kind of looks over and sees this, this change in Opal that he still hasn't even processed since all this went down. And there's like this ping of of worry and sadness that hits him. He's like, "Oh, boy!" And he's saying this out loud. He doesn't understand until it plus he works. He's baby. just, he's <laughs> baby. We're gonna get you. Don't worry, we're gonna get you. Right, everybody? Right? He's gonna go ahead and cast uh, bless at second level. God damn it! <laughs> That's what I do. I hate it here. Um, so that's going to be, so it's three, four, yeah. Yeah, who, pick your four. No, it's us four here. We all have bless on us. Okay. Um, Not Cyrus, who said, yeah, oh, from right. behind a tree. <laughs> yeah, here, is Cyrus is here. There's no Cyrus. Where is He's not on it, don't worry about it. After all the handy Cyrus? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's right. Can I get anyone that exists back there? Bring me anything for Cyrus. We got it. There might be some minis here like left yeah. over there. Would you like 900? Oh, yeah, would you, like yeah, a yeah. you can grab one of those. Okay. It's gonna be one of these guys. He got a hand. Did it mean? Did it mean nothing to you? <laughs> oh my god! Uh, give me a performance no, check. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I just want to know how good a job you did, babe. You only rolled three this initiative, so I don't think Girl, it's great. Like only a virgin knows how. That is a seven. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. OTHJ. Yeah. 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 Like, a three yeah, yeah. is about as far an initiative. He's like, mm. Mm. <laughs> it's a third level bless. I'm gonna give it to him anyway. Oh, oh, wait, man. what does that mean for us? One D four, I think. D four, right? Or yeah. D is it you add a D four to any attack rolls, uh, oh. ability checks, or saving throws? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Ability checks too. Um, all right. So I'm like, I'm like, we're gonna get you, girl. We're gonna get you. Well, how do we get it? What are we doing? He's gonna start, start panicking, and he's gonna start rushing up to try and join the rest of them in the, in the front. So he's just gonna like start climbing up the side. Oh, I don't know what we're doing. What are we doing? Oh, baby. Where are you going? You uh, wanna gotta, come, are you trying to get up? Yeah, there? get up on the edge there. All right, go ahead and give me athletics, athletics or acrobatics, That'll and bro. you're gonna pass a little thing of dick gems on the way. I have a eleven <laughs> passive perception. Uh, so he goes, oh, pretty, and then keeps going. Baby. Um, oh, uh, that's a seven. Uh -oh. Ay, ay, ay. What's more important to Dariax in this moment, mm -hmm. making it up or preserving himself? Oh, making it up. He has no sense yeah. of self-preservation cool. in this moment. Roll a d4 for me. Okay. Two. Yeah, yeah, you take two points of like, scrapey damage. Uh, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> like a little bit on your palm. That kind of, oh, you're just like, oh, it's fresh. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. Hate it. <laughs> uh, and then, let's see, as a bonus action, he's gonna, he's gonna look over at Dorian across the way after he's being plucked and pelted the air, but like, don't worry, we all believe in you. 
You're a fearless leader, and you can do this. Oh, what? And he's gonna go ahead and give him a D6 Bardic Inspiration die. Yeah. Oh. Taking a few levels of training up under his, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. his buddy here. Baby boy! Baby boy. Baby boy. Yes, I told you, pursuing a life in the arts isn't <laughs> worth it! <laughs> Nothing worth anything, so I'm not changing anything in my trajectory. <laughs> you hear like a guitar string go. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank incredible. Uh, that's gonna be my turn. Perfect. Uh, Opal. Now, does Ted? Do we have the same abilities? No, Ted has a different skill set than you. I think it's still worth it. I'm going to. I'm, I'm standing close enough to her, right? I'm standing pretty close mm -hmm. within five Yeah, feet. you're within melee. She keeps interposing herself between uh, you and very specifically Morgan. Okay, I'm gonna say, Ted, first of all, you look great. <laughs> Second of all, I know you're just trying to help, but I'm gonna cast darkness on both of us. So darkness is an AOE. So you have to pick like a point, you pick a point in the world to cast it. Right on. where I am and she is. Amazing. How big is your darkness? Oh, I get to use. Thank you. Um, I'm so happy. This is so good, I never get to play with these. Okay, so 15 foot radius. Oh, no. Centered no. entirely on you. That's going to catch Everyone. Oh, no. No. Do any of you have the ability to see through magical darkness? Magical no. Darkness? Um, Not no. dark vision. Yeah. No, I don't. I do. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. do. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love it. I get the Paul Hollywood handshake. My yeah. sweaty fucking yes. hand. <laughs> With all that's the love in my heart, legit. fuck them up. Oh. Well, I was just trying to get Ted not to fuck him up. Um, yeah. But that's, I think that's my only, that's the only thing I can do, and I burn his bell slot, one of my three. Does that mean we can't see? You can't, you can't see. see shit. Yes, you and, um, yeah. yeah, I think that's all I can do except for move. Okay. And I don't, I don't want to move, because if I move. Why not? Well, let me ask you this. So it's 15 foot radius if I move. So it's technically a static, but look, I understand I've tried to like, cheese this a lot, yeah, where you're yeah. like, I put it on my body, so I'm always the center of it. Yeah. Technically, it's a fixed point okay. in the world. So then I'm definitely not gonna move, right? Because so you can move around and stay in like, within. where you dropped it is yeah, where yeah, yeah. this is. Like, it's not going to move with you. Um, so you can move, hmm. you will not provoke opportunity attacks. Well, then I would say that I, I mean, I don't want to, but if for the purposes of this, I would probably move us like there so we could get a good shot of everyone. Perfect. Can, oh yeah, is I would. There? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Ted's gonna gotcha. stay She's just gonna be doing the damn thing. So is that Can she? in darkness? Yes. Yeah. And am I in darkness? Yeah. Uh, Dome you are darkness. not in darkness. Okay. But what but you everybody just see is a is big gone. old dome like of void. dark. You cannot see inside it. And they can't see me, but I can see them. Yep. Correct. You have perfect vision on everyone. Shit. Do you know what you do have? What? You got a little buddy. Oh. Your familiar can act yeah. on this turn. I do want to. Um, I need you yeah. to kill them. Okay, well. Uh, I don't know what my familiar can do, actually. I don't have, like, can my familiar do anything? Or what can it do? So the spider? Uh, I need to pay some bell. You, just go pee. go pee. No, I don't want to miss anything. Go pee, you're okay. good. Yeah, we're gonna watch. Don't want to miss a thing. Exactly. If you pee now, you won't miss anything because we're just looking up how fine familiar works. Look really oh, here. slow, okay? I can't well, I don't piss long. Your familiar acts independently, so but obeys your command. Oh my god, what's happening? It's so cool right now. Sweet. It can't attack, but it can take other actions. It's normal. Correct. 
Touch uh, it, I will say it. an important thing for your familiar is it can deliver <laughs> touch spells on your behalf. So us. you can set up future things if you want with it. Okay. Also, you can use it to give you give yourself the help action oh. so that when you attack something, you attack it with advantage, with which advantage. you're already doing because yeah. nothing so can see So then anything. I guess I will go to, <laughs> she's not here. Um, thankfully, she can't yes. hear me do it. Uh, can I have my familiar, uh, Make some movement towards Fira Rai. Okay. Yeah. I don't know where Let's it is. Get you a is little guy. Mm. I ran out of normal tiny spiders because I used them all. Them so all? Huh? You used them all. I used them all. I could have used a different boy. It's funny. I'm like gonna bring out like a very big guy. Please don't do that. Ooh. Okay. I understand. We all understand emotionally that it's a spider, but I'm going to use this really cute little squirrel. Cute. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> squirrel has his little guy. Squirrel. Yeah. Squirrel's going to get boop, right up next to Fira. Uh-oh. Spider, Fira. Squirrel. Uh -oh. spider yeah. squirrel. Spider squirrel. Uh-huh. Spider squirrel girl. So Opal's, uh, like, familiar just, like, crawled out of the darkness and is, like, looking up at you and just does, like, the little, like, hairy jumping spider, like... Uh, can I do anything, or that's the that's the whole turn? That's it. That's your turn. Does it look fierce? Like does it look like it's? I think it's just a tiny on baby my spider. side or not? It's got you know what? Eyes. Insight check. Ooh! Oh, look at the guy. That's perfect. And a little dick. Oh my god, it really <laughs> does. Yeah. You did that. Um, bling, Danny. We were trying to come up with an array 22. that you all could see. Oh, <laughs> twenty-two. Twenty-two. Danny's like you they could see dicks. <laughs> that you see that this thing has never attacked you, probably cannot attack you, but is trying to set up something for the future. Oh no. So, is not necessarily friendly to you. This is not a going go like, please, please help my mistress. Um, above, I don't know, how, what do you call it? Above table, above sure. game, in a way. Um, things, um, do we know how, do we know what happens to her familiar if it goes under zero hit points? I think if it, it dies, dies. Uh, does it, or does it just go away? Let me see. It goes away. This is a thing that happened before, I believe, in Kaimal. Yeah. Oh, that's like, right. It, that's yeah, right. That's yeah, it right. goes it away, and, and then computer. she just has to spend an hour resummoning it. Okay, and I'm pretty sure Opal's bitched about how hard it is. Mm, excellent. But okay, it's fantastic. fine. Perfect. Uh, yeah. At the bottom of the order, Cyrus just goes, "I can't see anything." Hey, bro. Yes. Bro. Yes. Can you hear me? It's dark in there. I am blind, not deaf. Yes, go on. Um, urine, it's dark where you are. Urine? There's urine somewhere? <laughs> like a little bit, but we don't have to talk about it right now. I'll get it in a second. I'm very nervous. It's okay, I'm scared too. Yeah, what do you want me to do? I don't know, what do you see around you? <laughs> Big ass black bubble. Punch, whoa, bubble, don't punch the bubble. <laughs> You want me to punch the bubble? No, no, punch the bubble. I can shoot it with my arrow. No, no, no don't! And all of us in unison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tell you, okay, okay, okay. What do, what do I do? Uh, kill a spider. In general, they're bad. Okay. okay. <laughs> He's gonna like peek around this corner and come all the way over here yeah. and unleash on this spider yeah. in front yeah, of him. Yeah. He's still level six. So oh level. no! <laughs> what? He hasn't learned anything. <laughs> he would not be a himbo if he had learned He's a lesson. Too busy getting him. Frankly, I think it's crazy that Darius is so busy spending hard. time trying to allow Opal to give bad hands. Yeah. yeah. He was level ten, but just the handy was so the bad. Handy was so bad. <laughs> it just, like, it busted yeah. his ass yeah. back yeah. down yeah. to six. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't unsee that. I can't unfeel that. Not good. How do you do? Oh gosh. You see him. You don't. None of you see anything. Fear or I. Yes. Uh, you actually see, like, Cyrus unleashes a bow, and it, like, glints off the big bubble butt of this spider. <laughs> bubble butt. Bubble butt. Harmlessly. Uh -oh. And the spider, like, rears back, and he's like, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Do better! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Help! Help! And he just is staring at you going, Help! Help! The spider hasn't moved. He's just nervous about the future. And we are back up to the top. Morgan, you're up. It is dark as shit. It's dark as shit. Did I see where Fieta was uh, before? Oh, wait, hold on. There's one more thing I want to do. I always oh, forget okay. between rounds. Classic. We're at round Classic. Two now. Yeah. It's dark. It's gonna be fine. Okay. We're fine. I need <laughs> everyone, including <laughs> Opal, to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh oh. Difficulty is 18. Uh oh. A wisdom oh. save? Oh my god. 
18. Oh. No! Why can't I add? I didn't know. 18, exactly 18. 12 okay, plus perfect. 6 is 18. 12 plus 6 is 18. You're, you're perfect. Oh, you gotta... Meets it, beats it. Oh, plus everybody gets four. All of us get oh, four. Yeah. You do it all get a plus four on saves. Oh, Not no. you, Opal. Mm, it's okay. But you made it, so you're okay. 26. 26. Oh, 18. <laughs> yeah, you 18. make it. Oh, wait. Plus four or plus a D4? Plus a D4. Plus, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. It wasn't 26. No, 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 it was yeah. 22. Oh, and that's just on attack yeah. rolls. 22 plus. Oh, attack rolls 19. and saving 26. throws. 26. 19, 19. 19. 18 minus one plus two, baby. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Thanks, bud. 17 minus one. No. Plus. Plus two? one, so 17. Yay. Oh, <laughs> nice. That's we got it. Yep. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are you within ten feet of me? I am. Uh, you have plus three to anyone within ten feet of me gets a plus three to all bo bonus to all saving throws. Yeah! 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 We're on protection, Twin baby. Hell yeah! Power and power. Let's go. Ooh, it's, in it's, it's in the rules. It's in the rules. <laughs> it's in the rules. The rules of the game say I can do this. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Hell yep. yeah! Incredible. Hell yeah, these are rules. You all feel something wash over you. A sense of helplessness, of momentum shifting. And you reach towards the magic that you share with one another and shake it off. It is artificial and foreign to you, pressed on you by the magic of the Spider Queen that is trying to get you to leave Opal alone. Back up to the top, Morgan, you're up. Did, did I see where Fiera uh, it was before we all got dark. Yes. So I did. Mm -hmm. Could I roughly estimate that perhaps I wanted to like rabbit hop over to her? You could try. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna yell out. You ever like? Have you ever jumped in the pure dark? It's not a Absolutely. matter. Absolutely. I'm in camo all the time. It's dark all the time, and I'm like in vaults, and those are dark. So yeah, obviously. <laughs> That's obviously. I Love move that. in the darkness. I slither. I slide. Yes. <laughs> I, I don't believe it. She hopped. I, 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 I slid. I slid. I slid. It's hop. dark in there. Casinos are all dark and seedy. You know how it yeah, goes. Yeah. The maiden's wish was dark all the time. They had electrical issues. <laughs> Do we have electricity? Yeah. Alexandria. I could make an AMF in the dark. Hey, I mean, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um. The the, no, the flames were bad. <laughs> <laughs> the candles are wet all the time. The candles were so wet. Uh, Why? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have you make a uh, acrobatics check with disadvantage to bunny oh hop. God. It's not a matter of like, can you figure out how to jump? It's okay. the like, the hard thing about jumping is knowing how to prep yourself to land when you don't see where what you're going. What if I missed step? Does that change it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. I'm gonna yes. I'm gonna misty step then. I'm gonna use my um. Yeah, I'm gonna use my bonus action. Can I can I yell out to Fieta? Can I just yell out to her to kind of like place her with my big old ears that I have? Oh, hold on. Oh. Uh, it does say you teleport up to thirty feet to yeah. an unoccupied space that you can. See. Mm. So that does present a problem. It does. All right, I'm a little gonna... blind jumpy jump, or miss, or you could try to blind Missy step. You know what? I, I just might hurt you. To, I only have to a plus it. two to acrobatics, so that's why I'm like, my my uh, my athletics is really good. Yeah, this is more of a like stick the landing so you don't give yourself a stinger in your big old bunny ankles. Wait, do I have because of my uh, vow of enmity? Do I, or do I have because of hate? Do I have a uh, no? That's just on attack. You can add d four to it though. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll roll. I'll roll oh, a no, disadvantage that's, that's just to see. Yeah, it's a good turn. Just to see how oh, it goes. Cool. I think it is. Yeah, uh, it's not skill check. No, it's, not. it's attack oh. rolls and saves. Yeah, You're right. Yeah. So I don't do anything. Okay, so that's a that's a 10, <laughs> 11, 12 plus. Of, oh wait, is it d4? Be yeah. right. This is a d4. Don't, yeah. don't add a d4. No, you don't add a d4 oh. to this. Oh. I was wrong. Sorry, yeah, this is yeah. It's so all good. A, that's a 12. I never remember how how bless works. Yeah. And then that's a eight. Yeah. So a total and an eight. eight. So an eight. Yeah. Okay, you go to bound. <laughs> Out and away. No, six, seven, eight. Oh, like I said, eight. <laughs> yeah, like, like we said. <laughs> like you said, you I bound like out goal. and away, and you get clear of it, and you're like, jumped a little higher than I thought, gonna land a little harder than you thought. Okay. Go ahead and roll a d8 for me. Okay. Use the die equivalent to the roll you made. 
A five. Take five points of damage. Cool, but as do I you, land near her? Yeah, you, you oh, can so, land exactly oh, where you're headed. Amazing. It's just a matter of like having that problem of like, oh my Absolutely. god. That's totally fine. Stinger. Um, puts me at, oh god. Oh wait, 80, <gasps> 79. <laughs> you're, I literally cannot count. You don't understand. That's okay. It's so bad. I have you're doing great. Okay, so I'm right next to Fieta. Yep. Correct. Okay, great. I am going to, I feel, sorry, I for, for a little bit of flavor, I <laughs> I'm, I'm really thinking about what Ted said. And honestly, it's kind of negated by the fact that like they threw the first punch for sure by like, you know, sucker punching Fieta. But also like, why was that my first, my first reaction? And I feel the blood and I can't even see it. And it's so sticky. And I'm just like, it, it just feels really wrong and bad. And I'm sitting there waiting for the Matron of Ravens to, I don't know, say something to me, but I need to do something other than make something bleed. Mm -hmm. So I, I hop over to Fieta and I look at her and I take my hand and I slam it on her arm and I heal her uh, with my lay on hands pool. For I'll heal you for as much as you're damaged. That's a lot. Is that 30? Sure it's 31. It's fine, yeah. All right. That was Smack. Very good. Um, Let's go. Yeah. What is 65 minus 31? Who could say? Um, 34. 34. Name your names, you know? <laughs> name your names. <laughs> That's going to live inside of my body in like a really fun way. Like, name your names. Uh, it's a challenge. 31, it's right? an opportunity. Yeah. Um, 31. Okay. And I'm going to say, I'm going to look at her and say, maybe you can bring this to a less bloody conclusion than I would. Um, and then, do I have another action? Do because I have, you're hasted. Because of my haste? Yeah. Man, I need is that little spider haste. fucker, like, right, is he near me? Yeah. Great. I'm going to stab him. Stabby stab, stabby yeah, stab. Okay. Great, I'm gonna That's stab. her familiar. I don't care. Okay. It's I'm not just opal. Saying. <laughs> it's not opal, it's a spider. All I'm gonna say, uh, you can absolutely do it. But if you like going off of your stated intent to find something other oh. to do than to make something bleed, yeah. I will say you have an opportunity to like commune with oh, your right deity. Yes. Or right behind you is a big old dick of jet. Yeah. Well, I don't want to yeah. crush the gems. Right. Crushing isn't the only okay. option. You felt, yeah, what's again, you like, as your foot passed okay. over it, you're like, what magical shit is happening right okay. here? What do I do with it? Uh, what, what do I do with it other than crush it? Could I have responded to, oh. to her? Wait, sure. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, we said, um, <laughs> you turn and you're like, what the yeah, fuck yeah. do I do with that um, dick of gems? Um, <laughs> I will say, uh, as you heal me, save some of it for Opal. We will need it. Get as many gems as you can. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'll, I'll hop, I'll go walk over to the gem. There's one literally right behind you. Oh, sick, I can't see. So oh, yeah, sorry. sorry. Uh, yeah, you've got a little, like, grouping screen. right okay. here behind okay. you. Oh, oops. <clears throat> um, and then I'm gonna reach down and try to grab them, I guess. You reach out and grab them and you pull them away from, like, this sticky spider web. Yeah. And as you take them into you and you hold them, and your intention here is to protect them, yeah. not break them. There is something in that like intention and in that choice that triggers a memory. <laughs> you understand suddenly that you are holding on to some portion of Opal, a bond between the two of you, something that if destroyed by the Spider Queen or her minions, she will lose forever and part of it is her connection to you. You think back to when you were still floating so slowly on the broomstone <laughs> platform. <laughs> Uh, you had all sort of given up your huffing and puffing and doggy paddling behind, and it's just sort of a quiet moment. The rest of the group is sleeping, and you had an opportunity kind of quietly talk. At this point, the that raven that you know was connected to the Matron of Ravens has flown away, but there's something in the feeling inside of you. You have not been selected. You haven't made a choice yet, but the connection feels there. And you have an opportunity as the sun drops behind the mountains to speak quietly and calmly. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. 
when you when you took that vestige how did you know it was the right thing to do oh I didn't I kind of it was the thing to do at the time I don't think we ever really know but it doesn't feel bad to have a purpose <gasps> That's all I've wanted my entire life. <sighs> You're so good at so many things. I don't know. I see you and everyone else and it's just... I wouldn't have survived without you. Oh, yes you would have. I mean, you survived in that dump for all these years. It was pretty bad. Yeah. I don't know, I just, I know it's hard, and you, you're going through a lot, but I just want you to know that I, th I think you're really cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think you're really cool. Like, if I could just, like, have a little bit of your personality, like, you're so confident, I mean, not in this moment, but usually you're confident and, like, just so sexy, and oh, that's, but more than anything else, it kind of seems like, I don't know, like you have an inner strength I don't have. Not yet. I'm still young. But, I mean, you're young too. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, when I first saw you at the Maiden's wi Wish, I thought, oh no like another pretty girl, but then I got to know you and I was like, oh wait, actually, if we like put our heads together, we could do anything and like look good doing it. I love that for us. I know that sounds really um, like stupid. No. But there's nothing like being underestimated. Mm. Under promise, over deliver. I like that. Me too. I think you're really pretty too. And I think we're both pretty in kind of like different ways. Totally, so it actually really balances it Absolutely. out. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I think you're so good at so many different things. If this doesn't feel like the right purpose for you, then maybe it's just a purpose for a season. You don't have to stick to it. I mean, I have to stick to this. It's stuck to my head. I've tried to take it off. It's on there. It's on, they're good. Yeah, and then she shows her like her real look and it's just gruesome. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, sorry. Um. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Morgan's getting a little infected. Uh. What? It's getting a little infected. Oh, oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I'm, try I'm trying my best. Um, but if you just need someone to give you permission to just follow your heart, you have it. Thank you, Opal. And you feel yourself move back from that. And those gems that you claimed here, the Spider Queen can never take. And Opal keeps a pillar of her personality and a connection to you. Aw, that's so cute. That's so sweet. <laughs> Who are you but... saying that to? Oh, <laughs> that's that's sweet. Sweet. I don't know. <laughs> holding these gems. <laughs> and you just kind of hear like, under promise. <laughs> Oh, and I and I look and I see my I see her blood, like on these dick gems, <laughs> and I just and I'm like, how could I have done that to her? Like, how could I have hurt her like that? Yeah. Um. Okay. Anything else? Uh, I don't think. Scrillion points of movement. Oh yeah, I was I was a septillion else. point. Um. Yeah. I'm next to Fiera. Uh, I actually think I'm good? Question mark. Like I, I'm out of the. I'm out of the dark, right? Yeah. You're okay. Good. Yeah. Sure. I'll just. I'll just hang out. The question mark killed me. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> Today. Amazing. Dorian, you're up. Fiera, you're on deck. After this deep and true feminine bonding. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> uh, Dorian is like of, the, of that flashback, like. 
<laughs> it's bad. And all of you saw that across the telepathic bond. Aww. The moment you interacted with those gems, you triggered the memory of it between the two of you. But because you were all telepathically bonded, it is something you That's all cool. can and did see. And those of you that weren't there uh, get a new thing. Uh, but. So some of you have that strange instance of like, oh, I was asleep right there, but now I'm getting like a different viewpoint of it. Oh, wow. Mm. Um, oh never, am I, can, do I have like a, anything else I can do? Can I yell something? Or oh, sure, like, sure, sure, sure. Okay, I just, because it wasn't like intuitive for me to grab the gems, I was gonna stab them, which like is yeah. very much where Morgan's head is, but I'll just yell, grab as many jewels as you can. That's what I said. <laughs> Oh, I don't know who to listen to! We I heard Bossy and 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 Bossy that's what, I, that's what I leave him there for. Look at that! Oh, I love it. And I'm gonna like, I love it. I'm gonna like put I love traver it. traverse it a little, now I can see, and I go, huh. <laughs> and uh, uh, I've got so much, I'm, I am weighed down with so much shit, but I fish around in my backpack for this little <laughs> mandolin that my boy Dariax gave me. Oh. And I strum a beautiful <laughs> harmonic tune and with my uh, Kanaith mandolin, I'm gonna cast a spell magic on the yeah. on the dark. Baby. <laughs> so I think that just works. What level is darkness? Fifth level. Oh fuck! That might not work. Fifth level. <laughs> fifth level? I'm sorry. Do you think we came to fucking play? I didn't know it was fifth level. I don't think my um, I don't think I've got that capability. Let me. All right. Would, is that what if I Googled anything? To I, help I, I also have, have it. I, can... for, to see if you I think it is a rule. It's a rule. It's a rule. Please, Please piss the rules. It. Anyone know that? I heard piss. I heard piss too. I think yeah. Piss, 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 piss the, the rules. rules. I simply won't. Piss the rules. Uh, um, uh, I've never played D and D, so it's pretty exciting yeah. to like see this for the first time. Oh no, I don't have that. Uh, oh, you're gonna yeah. make an ability check uh, using your spell casting ability. The DC equals ten plus the spell's level. On a successful check, the spell ends. What do I do here? So it would be. Th uh, you can cast counter spell. Yeah, but sorry, can I? I'm confused. So he's gonna roll for something. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's going to make an attempt. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, it, for sure. And then what does, <laughs> what does it have to beat? Is it my spell attack? Yes. Uh, ten plus the spell's level, so it's gonna be a four, uh, fifteen. Oh, a, a fifteen. It's the ability oh, check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so you're, you're rolling at your charisma. Oh, oh yeah. I, I roll a what? You're gonna add roll a d20 and add your charisma. Plus. And my charisma, okay. And Three. then I don't have a reaction until I find out what that is. The, uh, you can see it happening, so you're like, oh, you're casting magic. You can counterspell it if you want. Kind of like flying over it. What if it doesn't it? work? We'll see. <laughs> find out. Hiya! <laughs> I don't know how it feels, thank you. Hiya! Same rule. Oh my god. <laughs> Same rule. That's I, impossible. I, I, impossible that I jumped up yeah. there and did that. Oh no, it's consistent. Yeah, okay. dog shit. Nine, I, uh, I'm uh, just shit at my rolls. Yeah, I fly over and I try to cast it at darkness and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still flying. I was like, oh damn. Oh, okay. and then, and I'm just going, did he just fart? <laughs> <laughs> he has not a time um, to fart. I've, and Dariax is still in dark, darkness? No, if you try to fly high enough to be over no, the darkness. He then is. You, yeah. I am. Oh, Dariax is still in darkness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that, Damn it, I knew I was going to confuse oh my your God. stupid fucking name. <laughs> so You're back, baby. I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> There's Dariax. so many letters. My, and you didn't pick any different one. <laughs> my intent was to, to, to dispel the magic and fly sure. over and land next to Dariax, mm -hmm. but I'm kind of like in flight, and it's all happened. My failure happened too quickly to where I could really have a different plan. So I'm going to try the same plan. I'm going to try to like. Use my mind's eye and imagine where Dariax would be in the darkness based on my keen spatial awareness and drop down next to my buddy below me about 15 feet. Oh. Okay, here's what we're gonna do together. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to make. You're going back into the dark? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's love. I'm with my friend. <laughs> that is love. Uh, give me a 
Acrobatics check. Acrobatics check? Yeah. Good thing I'm super good at that. Ooh. 27. Woo! Nice. You're great. Whoa. You flutter in, and because oh. you're using your little feet flappies, yeah. uh, Dariax, <laughs> you can hear him coming, coming in hot. You can give him like a little landing. Hey, what's up, man? I got you, I got you. And I'm like, like tugging his ankle and kind of helping him get into the ground a little bit. You just get grabbed by the foot and yanked down. <sighs> the shoe comes off. And then I'm gonna like, I'm gonna feel around in the darkness for him, his little broad shoulders. I'm going, oh, you do a great job, buddy. And uh, I'm gonna tap him on his shoulder and return the bardic inspiration as well. So we're pretty. We're both super these goosed up little guys. We're helping each other out. Just trading their they little need, bard like, eggs. A, a, a spinoff. Oh my god. We can do one in the afterlife. If you, if you want, I can do one. I, got, I, know, I, got, I, I want to get it. No. Oh my no. god. Oh Incredible. man, then that finished my turn. I, 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 used my, I burned my spell for on the dispel, and that's it. That's all I'm I can sorry. do. Can you roll better? I'm trying. <laughs> I was just asking. I was just asking. Damn. I was just asking. Burn. It was, I'm just asking Fishes. questions. I'm say, just asking questions. Did you say he was using his little feet flappies? He's got little Yeah, I love the idea of the wind boots, like, Struggling to just yeah, 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 yeah. keep him where he needs to be. Oh. The boots are great. Okay. I think they see sort of his lack of confidence and his oh. ability, and they're like, "Oh shit!" Like they got the yips, yeah. and they're like, yeah. <laughs> oh, "Bring it in." Oh. <laughs> Here, oh, Ry, you are up. Cool. Um, uh, the the dick gems that are near me and Morgan are those the ones that she picked up? Yeah, she grabbed these. Here you go. That's for you. Those aren't dick gems. Oh yeah, they are. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa! Um, I thought cool. you were just throwing me a spider web, but there's dick gems on the spider yeah. web. Yeah. Yeah. Is there what? Is the what about the one that I ran yeah. over that I felt? What? Uh, oh yes, there are oh some under your feet right here. Okay. I love these dick or, gems. Like, it's like ten feet to your left. Can you okay. see? Um, since yeah, I can't right see, I can't see my girl, from... I can't see the guys, no. can't see anything but uh, these. You're familiar. Can't attack. Fucking uh, spiders. Um, Cool, cool, cool. What I would like to do mm -hmm. is to begin <coughs> using my movement to run and scoop those up and continue in the direction. I believe there are more right next to, underneath, like underneath Dariax at the foot of the, there, so there's the ones next to me, and then there's also the ones underneath the eggs at the foot of the wall. Yep, start here, because uh -huh. uh, it is an interaction. Right. Okay, and while that is happening though, I'd like to check in with the Wild Mother again, if I may. You got a lot of things going. You're cooking a lot at once, okay, my guy. So, I can. so let's go one at a time, and okay. we'll see how it goes. Okay, cool. You move 10 feet to your left and scoop up this like array of gems. Mm -hmm. I guess it's vaguely dick-like if you're a child. <laughs> uh, you scoop them up. I've been hanging around with Opa for a while. I'm picking things up <laughs> from my girl. She tends to rub off on you. Hey! It's only like seven good though, so you don't like it. You don't like it that much. Grin and bear it. <laughs> you scoop up the gems. Okay. And you feel a memory trigger. It's only about a week ago. You're laying low in a little Village feels general even for here. Yeah. Village feels gener uh, like generous mm -hmm. for here. It is a couple thatched roof, uh, like daub and wattle homes at the edge of a bog. It's a little stinky. It's a little like that weird mixture of cold and humid. Mm -hmm. At the same time, and you're like, what is the industry? Why are people here when you can be anywhere else in the world? <laughs> but it's quiet and it's safe, and some of the individuals that you've met look like aging adventurers is the generous word you give to someone who looks like they have killed a lot of people in the past and might be laying low for another reason. But they don't ask any questions when you come. They point you to an open home with a little nod of understanding that we didn't see you, you didn't see us. And if you need anything, no, you don't. Mm. And it's in one of those like quiet evenings, the sun drops below the tree line. The smell of that bog kicks up a little more as like spring peepers and little frogs and little critters in the woods get noisier, celebrating that like twilight, crepuscular uh, time of day. 
and you are exiting the little room as Opal is coming in from doing something. You don't know, but you bump into each other. Sorry. It's okay. Um, you notice that, um, or you would see, that uh, she's holding the two parts of the once whole tiger eye that she had before uh, before our escape. She's holding both parts of them and just kind of moving them between her fingers. How are you doing? Oh, you know, I'm... I don't know anymore. I give her a hug. Oh. Uh, it's okay, you can hug back. Yeah, we'll work on it. Uh, yeah, she, because she's... <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> I told you... I, I told you it was... important to heal things with your sister. My... I've always known who Fierica is. And she's... my sister, but she's also always been... Um, how do you say? A bit of an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I never thought that she would... That she would want to kill me. I don't know who she is, and she has been so much a part of who I am, even when I thought she was gone. You know, sometimes in death or in absentia, Opal's proud that she even knew that word. <laughs> I think we tend to, like, glorify people, their memories at least. And it's supposed to be like that if we're never gonna see them again. But then, you see them again. And then it's just a choice to love them, even if they're assholes. Because in, in my case, I'm the asshole sister, and I can tell you, it just comes from a place of deep insecurity. Has Ted ever tried to kill you? No, but I've definitely tried to kill her ass. And I'm, and I feel so bad about that. You hear inside your head. No, you fucking don't. Oh, yes, I do. <clears throat> this isn't about you, Ted. You're literally talking about me. Shut up. Um, you know, I would be jealous of you if you were my sister, too. You're so confident, and you know so much, and you can beat anybody's ass. You're a really great person, too. Maybe she's not any of those things, and that must be really tough. Mm. You know when our parents named us? Fira, for fire. Mm. But Ryan and Kai, two sides of a coin. Kai, for warrior. Rai, for trust. Mm. And I look up at the crown on your head. And I see how it digs into your skin. I don't know what is happening to you, Opal. But you can trust me to fight for you as if you were my sister too. Oh, I'm definitely your sister. Even if it's just until you get your own sister back. Or into sister. Um. Uh, she looks at the two halves of the tiger eye and takes one half 
and holds it out. Even if it's just for now. Thank you. Put it in my pocket or just somewhere close to my heart. And um, I look around and I realize I don't have anything to give her. So I just kind of spritz the perfume. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to know, um, <laughs> I'll fight for you too. And I'll beat your sister's ass if I have to, although she could probably beat my ass, but I've often felt like the other side of a coin too. And it's really hard. So you and I could just be two coins. We are the richer for it. It's her best attempt at some kind of humor. <laughs> <laughs> but she's genuinely trying to laugh. She just can't. I'm just like. <laughs> Ted's like, you gotta do better than that. She tried so hard. No, I swear to God, I will turn off your magic for a week. Be better. That was. <laughs> But it comes like 30 seconds too late. Yeah. Yeah, she was to the... You have a feeling behind what? your eyes of Ted going, nailed it. <laughs> the visual of you right. spraying her in the face and then going, to her going uh, and you going, it's not much. But. Like you just don't even acknowledge <laughs> that she's like, oh, it's all I have. Yeah. Um, I can't. After her laugh, I will just look down and say, I'll stay in my lane. Up another hop. Okay. Big time. I squeeze her real, real tight. And uh, do I, when I push up against her head, do I feel anything? Because that crown is there. Do I feel it when I push mm, up against it? 100%. Interesting. You feel like those thick briars made of iron, like scratch your scalp. And it feels. You are not poisoned, but it feels poisonous. That idea of like something scrapes you and you can feel it slipping under your skin and burning and traveling. This thing does not want you to touch it and doesn't like that it's that close to you. Excellent. I'm going to press harder into it and I will just think the words, you won't be with her for long. Impressive. And you never feel what that does. But deep in the pit of Opal's stomach, something shakes a little queasily to her. And we come back from that. You are holding those gems in your hand. That's your action. Okay. So you still have the rest of your movement and a bonus action. Right, okay. Um, those dicks are yours. They are protected. Two key. You all saw that beautiful moment. I will, okay, so I, s thank you. Oh, Just throwing oh. gemstones at Delightful. people like, what? Um, great, so <laughs> I have the rest of my movement. Um, where can I get? It's not much. I would like to walk up the wall, because I can. <laughs> Into I would the, like, do you enter the darkness? Not the darkness, the one behind me, the wall. Oh. The wall with the other gem on top of it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so like right where that yeah. gem, gemmy. I'm getting gem a little sticky is. guy. Okay. So I can get up there and be. Yeah. I just want you to be safe. And I want to be further yeah. away. Well, actually, <gasps> stay I'll stay close to my thing. Can I be here? Yes. Yes. And then I will just uh, again spend a. No, I won't spend a key point. Um, bonus action. Hey, dodge, dash, disengage. What the fuck? So <laughs> many things. <laughs> dodge, dash, engage. <laughs> Thinking <laughs> in character voice is my favorite thing. Okay. Excellent, because I can't stop this <laughs> completely <laughs> unplaceable you know, accent. Dash I, have no <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea who I am or what is happening. Great, so from up there, I'm just going to survey the scene and uh, I'm. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna survey this thing so I can get a, I can get a good vantage point of where everything is, right? Okay, fantastic. I love that. Opal, it's time to turn this up a little bit. Oh, no. Legendary action, you get to decide. Do you want to act? Do you want your sister to act? Do you want the spiders to act? Or do you want the spider queen to act? <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, no, not the spider queen. Mm -hmm. um, no, bitch. Uh, Nothing happened last time. It could be better. Um, I feel like, uh, well, Ted can't see in there. Correct. So I'm the only one that can do anything. Or the spiders. Or the spiders on the outside. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I don't want to do anything. Amy doesn't want to do anything. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> so Amy playing Opal doesn't want to do anything. Amy, who wants to maybe have a friend sit by you soon? Um, okay. So, how, uh, da, 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 I am going to, um. You know, fuck it. Let's leave it for a roll. Okay. Make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, 11. You feel this like potential. You know the thing, like you are the secret scared thing inside your own brain right now. Yeah. I think you understand Ted better than you ever have before. Okay. And there's something external to you that presses in on you. It's massive, it's overwhelming and it leans in, it grabs you, not by your clothing, but by like the bones of your like rib cage and pulls you in and says, kill them, we need to go. And with an 11, this is taking too long. Drop them now. And I have to? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so then what I'm gonna do is that I am going to uh, th uh, shoot out three Eldritch Blasts <sighs> indiscriminately. No, I, I mean, I can see them. So um, to Dorian, Dariax, and Fiera Rai. Question. Yeah. Would to Opal, oh. between the three of them, who's the biggest threat? Who? There's something inside, and I'm gonna bring you into like the DM of it all okay. really quickly. A lot of times when we run encounters, you're like, I'm a bad guy who doesn't know what the party's like. Yeah. And I'm just gonna attack kind of whoever's close. But you've been with these people your entire adventuring life. And you know who you can drop that will make the fight a little easier. So behaving from the top of your intelligence as a DM, as the primary antagonist here. Okay. Instead of indiscriminate to all three, pick one to focus down and make it count. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna spread a little love around and I'm gonna go for Dariax. Bring it. I'm sorry. Let's go. Okay, um, three Eldritch Blasts. Here we go. Do you have advantage because I'm blind? Mm-hmm. Oh, for hey, three of I have advantage? Dorian. Yeah. The lights just went out. I, th I think I think I'm blind. Do I have to remember? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the easiest way to do it is to do two, like roll dark, two to get dark. like one at a time. Oh, not physics. Smart. Blind. Yeah. You can't okay. see, but you're so. Okay. First one. Okay, so fi uh, 15, 25. Okay, 25. Second one. Oh fuck. Um, 29. Hits. Just hits. Third one. And uh, 28. Shoot. Criminal. I want you as my friend. Were any of those a 19 on the die? Oh, no, no, no. No, I'm, I'm not. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, right. They were not. And now we get my tans. Get your tans. Make me. And 3d10 plus 15. So 2, 4, 6, and 13 plus what? Plus 15. Plus 15 is? 28. 28. 28. 28. Yeah. 28. 28. So, <laughs> no, hold Dorian, on, I lost Hold on, really quick, yeah. just so super quick. Oh, yeah. I would like to remind you that as the fully uh, sort of invested champion of the Spider Queen, you have Baleful Scion, and they've hit you a couple times. Yes, I, yes, I do. Okay, once per turn, when you damage a creature you can see, you can deal necrotic damage. 1d6 plus 5. Regain a number of hit points equal to the necrotic damage you hit. 
hate hit. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So go ahead and so, roll a d6 for me. 1d6 plus 5 oh, yeah. is my bad dice. That is a 5 plus 5 is a 10. Cool. So that goes up to 38 points of damage, and you take 10 points of healing. Even though I, I'm up. Oh, no, I don't. I'm not up. Yeah. 10 points of healing. That's perfect. A paladin yeah. smacked the shit out of That's you. Right. Not that long ago. <laughs> <laughs> it hurted. It hurted. All right. So now, with 38 yeah. points of damage, what were you saying, my darling? Sorry, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> I was turning away like, I'm not, oh, it's just dark. Yeah, it's just dark. You're not physically blind. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, technically, by definition, you can't see, therefore you're blind, but but your your body is okay. Great, my body's okay. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> no! no! All right, anything on your bonus action? Uh, I don't think I could do anything. I don't think I can do anything more. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Because I don't want to use a, I don't want to do it. Yeah, this isn't your full turn. This yeah. is just a legendary action, so yes. Good. Amazing. Um, Next up is, I can read and tell numbers with my mind. We had Fear I go. Ted? Ted is up. Ted can't see. Ted can't see. But Ted <laughs> did just sort of hear that conversation. Oh, no. And is just oh, going no. to like swing a haymaker. I am screaming very loud. <laughs> <laughs> you yell, but you also were having a conversation yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the dark and you fluttered down in front of her. Uh, so she's just gonna kind of wild swing in both of your directions. Oh shit, with disadvantage, that is a three. Does that 14 hit? It does not. Yeah, I think so. Second attack. There's a 19 riddle. It does. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. She like swings and then comes around and is able to like clip you across the chest. <laughs> so there. Yeah, save me. Nine points. Okay. Of piercing damage. Piercing? Okay. Piercing. Pew, pew. And she's like, got one. <laughs> and you can just hear her kind of be excited in your head. You go, oh, sorry. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> and then it's quiet inside your group chat once more. That's Ted's turn. Uh, Dariax, you're up, and my little piters are on deck. I'm up, okay. Uh, Dar oh, sorry, Dar I need you to make a... S sorry. Yeah, yeah, what you, what you got, what you need? Please give me a concentration. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, finally, oh, yeah. you get oh, to do oh, it. I got Warcasters, oh, so I have advantage on it. Oh, get to it. Yes. Yes. Uh, that's uh, going it's a night. You have to make a 19. That's oh, that's a 22, I'm fine. <gasps> yeah. Mother, yeah. mother. Yeah. Yeah. I'll never get rid of this. I love uh, you. I'm in hell. Dwarf constitution. All right. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> reacting from the hits, it's like, oh, it's, uh, darkness hurts. Darkness is bad. We're going to get out of here. I'm going to go ahead and spend uh, a few sorcery points here to do a uh, quicken spell. Ooh. Right. So, spend two sorcery points on that. I'm going to go ahead and quicken. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Fuck. Dimension door. <gasps> hey. Yeah. Heck yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and grab your arm mm -hmm. and be like, all right, I think I saw something that way. Let's get out of here. I'm just gonna <clears throat> try and try and dimension door us on top of that higher, the highest platform of this hill. Yeah, nice, mm -hmm. nice. Um, mind you, I don't see it right now, so I'm kind of guessing where it is. I believe in you. <laughs> I believe in you. All right, uh, really quick. I have to see it. Dimension uh, door, you do not have to see, I know because I've had people dimension door into dragons before. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Uh, Ted happens to be a mage slayer. Oh, so. What, 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 is what the that? fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Uh, oh. Someone that loves when you cast spells near them. Oh. Cool, I don't have to. Yeah, it's going to be a melee attack with, with disadvantage as you go, but. God, another. It was a natural 20 and a three. Oh, oh no. baby. Does Thank your, you guys got Is it, do you, is your armor class a 12? No. Okay. <laughs> you go. Damn it, Ted. <laughs> I should have given her devil sight. All right, uh, so now you're going to make a little blind attempt to get up to here. 
correct. Let me see here. You and are you taking There's your... a dick gem up there. <laughs> yeah, we're going to see. <laughs> There's a dick gem up there. There's going to be two it's thresholds so of success. One to land well, two to land without crushing I respect that. Those. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. So just, it'll be two. Uh, yeah. Are you trying to take Dorian with you? Yes. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make... What do you want to call this? I'm going to say this can either be per perception. I just want this to be perception. Hell just to yeah. see if you can kind of just like there, trust there. vibes and land where you want to land. So now a 15 is going to get both of you where you want to go. Over a 20, you will not inadvertently crush the gems you don't see under your feet. So I rolled. Well, I got a perception of plus one. Wait, I thought you were gonna. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm so proud of you. Negative. In my I forgot. I forgot. Wisdom. I forgot. I forgot. What talking about. <laughs> I forgot. As I grab you and like both. <laughs> I did roll a natural 18, which puts me at a 19. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Get it, boy. Get and it. And I have some bardic inspiration that I just oh, recently got. Let's here. go. Yes. Oh, it's it's All right. Yes. Yes. Party party! Get it. Party, party party! Party party for the party! I think the thing you do is because you know there's a height differential between the two of you, <laughs> you levitate just a little bit above where you want to land because you're like, well, I don't want him to like stub his legs yeah, it's valid. on the Aww. ground. And that gives you just enough eyes on the gems under your feet that you're able to go like, huh, 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 <laughs> and kind of do a little splits over. Oh no, and you knock me down. Oh no! no. Um, I feel this pain. I was bowled yeah. over by your I'm amazing sorry. Mm -hmm. It was so cool. She fell off the top. <laughs> blown I away. I had that effect on people. Yes. <laughs> you have definitely you blown me away many times. Darius, you do a splits, yeah. <laughs> Over the gems, like, under your body. Like we're talking Come on, Van Damme. Damme. Yeah! Yeah! Like, yeah! yeah! I was like, oh, shiny. I still have my actions. Yeah. Do that as a bonus Amazing. action. Yes. And just pick them up. Amazing. Yeah, so cool. baby. You lean down, scoop so up the gems, rich. and you feel yourself suffuse with light and energy and the scent of Opal's perfume when she's not spraying it directly into your grill. <laughs> it's a gourmand. It's a gourmand. Yeah, give me like give me some notes from your it's from vanilla. your favorite. It's like the, it smells like the top of a creme brulee, if you will. Oh, mm. yeah. very edible. There is. I think you go back the least far. This is just a couple days ago, when you were first taking off, and as you hit the road. There's a time in the middle of the night. Dariax, you wake up. You gotta take your night piss. It's an important, <laughs> it's an important part of your day. It's like a beauty sleep. You know? <laughs> and you see sort of like the constellation of your friends and they're like various like sleeping uh, accoutrement and one empty one, opal, gone. And you scan around and you see like light bouncing off of the back of a cat's retinas, but opalescent pink in the dark. Down and away, tucked between like some flat sheet rock and almost behind a bush, she is back in a corner, muttering. Her eyes are open, focused, uh, unfocused, unblinking. You can just hear the murmuring and the muttering, and somehow it's like louder in your ears than it is out in the world. Slowly, kind of carefully get up from my prone sleeping position, and begin to kind of inch over towards her, not to startle her, and be like, hey, hey, Opal. Stops muttering, but she's, had, does not have her mask many faces on. She looks like her corrupted self. <gasps> Opal, you, you okay? How did I get here? Yeah, maybe you're having a dream. Can I get you anything? Some water? Um. Steps up a little bit to her. She softens, not affected by her visage, and kind of like plops down next to her with his hands on his knees. 
How you doing? Do you ever feel like you're not really here? That's a very big concept. Uh... You can do it. I believe in you. Meaning like just not present, not focused? Yeah, like, I don't know what I'm saying. No, it's okay, you can talk to me. Like, like almost like you don't exist. But you do. But it's murky. I'm just kidding. <laughs> How are you doing? He kind of reaches over and takes your hand and just kind of just holds it for a second. Like, I can't say that I've had that feeling myself, but it hurts to think that that's what you're going through. You know, Dariax, you're really kind. You're a really good person. And I also think you're pretty smart. You're very sweet, too, and a terrible liar. <sighs> but I'm getting better. You know? I'm learning from you all. I'm trying to be more focused on my studies. <laughs> this recorder's not playing itself anymore, you know? <laughs> but no, I'm. <laughs> I'm, I care about you, we all care about you. And it's not lost in us that you bear a, a burden that I don't think any of us really understand. And I just, I look at you and I, I feel like you feel alone when you're not. Oh, I, I have so many voices in my head, I definitely never feel alone. But I know what you're saying. I don't feel that way at all. You, you guys are the best friends I could ever hope to have. I just like to feel like I'm, I don't know, like I could enjoy it. And sometimes I just, just don't feel like I'm here, like I'm in a daze or something. I don't know. I'll tell you what. I spent most of my life up to this point just kind of picking a direction and running. Mm. And it took kind of... It took kind of stumbling into some purpose with the rest of you, and it to kind of... I don't know. Put a little more care in what I did. You know, Dorian's... looked after me since I began to think about making a difference. He's protected me and shown me what it's like to, to have an impact and think about what that impact means to others, you know? So maybe, maybe I gotta pay it forward and I protect you. And I protect you. I mean, I know that, but like, also like, don't feel, don't feel like you gotta be away from us over here in the dark. It's a cold night. You need, come here, come here. I'll, I'll be Big Spoon. Oh, that's really nice. As you come over, Dariax, make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, that's a 12. <clears throat> You're inside this memory, and all of you can see it. <clears throat> but I think Dorian, because you're also right there where Dariax has scooped this up, you see that the bundle of gems that Dariax holds, some of the shine goes away. A little bit of black begins to seep across it. And within the vision, 
Tyriax, you don't see or remember what actually happened. Opal doesn't walk over to you. She stays far away. So he doesn't finish the vision? The finish, the vision doesn't finish. It's going to change. And I will leave it. Do you want to corrupt this memory? Or do you want me to do it? Oh, I, I want you to do it. <laughs> I can't, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> oh no, it got sad. <laughs> I almost felt bad, but then I know I'm having a great time. <laughs> you see that Opal takes a step towards you and then rocks back onto her heels. No. <laughs> She's bowled over. She's just I'm just it. really <laughs> hurt by what is happening to Opal. It's knocked me off of my axis, you know. Dear you understand I can't, right? What, what, what do you mean? It, right here. And I agreed to this. I know I did it just to look out for you all, but I made a promise. And something's coming. And I think I have to go soon. Well, wherever you go, we'll follow. You see a flash of something across her face. A flare of anger quickly smothered. No. I think where I go, I need to go by myself. Will you let me go? Will you let me go? If you think you need to. You need to... And you see it, something warring to try to maintain the feeling of talking to Opal. But it's not a great impression of her and it's beginning to fall away. You have to let me go. Just keep going. Get Dorian wherever he needs to go. I have to go with her. You have to let me go with her. Dorian? No. Dorian? No! <gasps> let her go! And you see Opal's jaw like opens too wide, like the mandible snaps and cracks and splits apart. And she lunges for you, and then in the darkness, the vision goes away, and you come back up to the present. <laughs> You're holding the jams. We also in our telepathic bond, or no? I think at first it was just that like iteration, but yes, by the end, that new memory started settling in for the little bit where Dariax tried to accept it. And yeah, you all saw it. Did I see it? Yes. And I have no memory of what actually happened. You remember the real memory, but you are starting to slip back farther and farther. Okay. I think I just telepathically say like, I don't think that's what happened. Be quiet. I'm trying to let them go peacefully. If they stay, my champion, I will make you kill them. You understand that, right? Yes, I understand. So you make them go, or I do. Guys, maybe you should go. Let me come back to the present. One more action. Do you want to go? Do you want the spiders to go or do you want the spider queen to go? Uh, definitely not the spider queen. The spiders can go. 
spiders. Can I put myself activated. back on the wall? Oh yeah, <laughs> let's get you back up, <laughs> She's drunk, buddy. <laughs> she had hey, a great fall. You gotta <laughs> stop drinking before we go into the spiders. I mean, I nearly cut off. <laughs> spiders. Let's see, this one. What's this one gonna do? This one's gonna begin trying to climb up. I think it's only gonna get to about there. We're gonna have this one come around the corner. Can't quite get to you to fight you. The spider back here is going to destroy gems. Mm -hmm. Opal, it happens so quickly you don't even feel the memory. They're getting better at this. It's Oof. smoother and easier. And the spider is going to lunge for Cyrus. <laughs> and this one, we'll have it climb up. It's going to join. And we'll have this one come up here, and then it will be melee. It will be in melee for the next round. Just imagined it with like tiny little knives. Oh, just moving. Just yeah. knives. <laughs> like it's like, moves. have you ever seen those TikTok videos of them crushing the like apple snail eggs? Yeah. That's all I can think of when it's, it's smushing those jets. It's, it's like what? forbidden gushers. I love it. I'm sure, you have to. It's terrifying. Snail? Yeah, it's I don't, so I don't know good. That I want to see it. Oh my gosh. All right, Cyrus is going to take one off. Big spider. That will hit. You all see that big bubble butt spider leap onto Cyrus and tackle him to the ground and its mandibles come and like, they just sort of pinch into his shoulder. Well. And just, ah! 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 Uh, And he begins to like frantically tear away at like his clothing, like, like he's on fire, like he needs to get to his skin. And you all see that like that blue gets shot through as the veins in his shoulders begin to like pulse a sickly green. Ew. He is prone and under the poisoned condition. Oh, and prone? Mm hmm. Bloody. And putty. Okay. He and did his bloody. best. That's fine. Uh, the rest of them smushing, smushing your personality you can feel it begin to fall away. Mm. The threats are not idle. Mm -hmm. And there's something inside of the Spider Queen that is beginning to panic. It's taking too long. She needs something new to happen. First, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. The difficulty is 20. Oh, come on, girl. Come on, girl. Dang. All right. This one is so good. Fuck, that is a 13. Oops. You feel something inside you begin to like bubble over and you start to make like a noise. It comes from deep in, it's like a groan, not quite a scream, and Ted turns and locks on you, even within the darkness, and it's going to run and sprints and dives into your body. What's it? What? And disappears what? from oh, sight. Shit. What's it? Okay. What and does the that rest mean? of you, what? What well, we'll find out in a second. The rest of you, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh -oh. Difficulty is twenty. Um. Okay. Hmm. You still have glass up. Okay. And people yeah. within ten feet of you, which feels like I think you can catch fear or eye in that. Okay. Um, 24. Oh, 17. Never. 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 25. Yep. So even without anything, yeah. Oh, perfect. How'd you do? I mean, even if I tried any of my, I, would, I still wouldn't make it fail. Okay. 11. Nine. You both see from your vantage point something Horrendous. What's the worst thing you could see on the battlefield right now? Oh, um, the worst in this moment would be a true sign of losing Opal. Seeing her become something that is beyond our reach, probably. And there it is, oh, in geez. front of your eyes. You see her double over in pain as arms burst through, as her lower body swells and becomes grotesque. Grotesque, a drider body forms out from under her and she rises to about 12 feet tall. 
her head turns and looks at you and eyes open, jet black, weeping, black ichor, ichor, I don't know how to say that, and other sets of eyes open up, multiples huh. looking at you. And when she opens her mouth to scream, it's just like in your memory, vision, the lie, the truth, you barely remember anymore as she laughs. Dorian, what's the worst thing you could see on the battlefield right now? Oh, no. This is in their mind's eye, right? Because I still have darkness up. Uh, you do still have darkness up. I didn't mean a, to remind you. No, 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 no. You're correct. It is a convenient slip of fiction that when Dariak saw that, he no longer saw the darkness that would have obscured you. Good catch. I think it's uh, the worst thing. Mm -hmm. w stuff worse than death. I, th I, I think it's everyone, everyone corrupted. Mm. So like uh, when we were on that door to the Feywild and Fern saw, uh, a version of herself. Mm -hmm. I think that I think mm -hmm. that that horrifies Dorian worse than anything. Mm -hmm. Full corruption. So I think he would see he would see shadow images of the people that he loves at their worst. Mm -hmm. It's like all of your friends, your brother, are suddenly looking in a mirror, and then that mirror version, like burned fern reaches through and grabs them and pulls them in and then steps out to replace them. Oh. And whatever position their bodies were at the time, their heads turn unnaturally at an angle to look up at you to make sure that you know that they know that what has come to pass, the worst thing in your heart, is true. No one else sees that. Just you two. But what you do see, Spider Queen is done fucking around. She wanted to do this the easy way. Now she's gonna do it the hard way. And she's going to make you be the tool of your own severance. Opal, you get taller, you begin to stretch out. You're already lanky, kind of a model. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like a, That's true. You are now a full 6'5". Two sets of arms, holding daggers, holding crystalline swords. Weep. Just weeping wounds from your head. A crown, another crown. And when you smile, that same black ichor pours from the side of your mouth as you are joined with a third set of arms, Opal, Ted, and the Spider Queen in unison. And that's where we're gonna pick up next week. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sending someone home. The stress. Y'all got the first day paycheck. My the stress God. of it all. <laughs> the first well, day I don't paycheck. feel real bad. Yeah, well, it's probably yeah. fine. Oh. It's oh probably God. fine. Almost like the worst thing you could imagine. Wow. Wow. That's so bad. Everyone's it's doing so super bad. good and you're totally on the top right now and you'll probably never fall again. So I think everyone's doing really well, and I'm super proud of them. So we're just gonna call it here. And I say, wouldn't get too comfy. I have some things. <laughs> I've got haste, and I will cast it on Opal. <laughs> I, you know what? I've got haste. <laughs> if you would cast it on Opal, this whole thing would be different. I will oh be up at 3 a.m. thinking about how stupid that was. I will. No. But not no, dumber than me trying to do Elder Blast with D Force. Mm. <laughs> okay. I see someone who's like. Help, no, I no. did negative two damage to my friends. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, Next time, you're collecting bodies. You get that, right? I do. So get excited. Well. You too. But until next week, be good, treat each other well. And is it Thursday yet? Woo! <laughs>